Recently, a group of adventurers accepted a mission for an organization known as the Golden Vault. This same group infiltrated and escaped from the maximum security prison of Rebel's End to the Icewind Dale Wastelands. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as adventurers for hire. If you're desperate, no one else can help, and you can find them. Maybe you can hire the BT. Everybody and welcome back to D&D Blender presents the B Team Icewind Dale Rise of Yithrin. I'm your humble DM Tim, and today we have with us Lyra. Hello there. Brimstone. Hi. Elna. Hello. And Johnny. Hello. In the previous session, the group at last managed to clean out the fortress of Sunblight, and steal the robot dragon that was threatening <laughs> the realms of Icewind Dale. Just borrow. They also <laughs> discovered some interesting Definitely. little details. They came across a mind flayer who was um, very sympathetic to their their cause and assisting them. Just here for business. Basically uh, giving up claim to their own ship, at least for the time being, I imagine. <laughs> Um, we'll to forge an alliance with this uh, this creature to help them out to defeat the Durga. They also discovered that there were a little miniature of Icewind Dale depicting the plans of the Durga, shooting the dragon all the way around, completely destroying all of the towns, and then loosing a disc of some kind from the reg head glacier on <laughs> the city on on the the waste and then little victory flags and confetti for everybody um also managing to acquire some brand new items that were not mentioned in the previous session because Sucks. they existed but i hadn't actually told people what they were <laughs> so alira got some magical loot strings for mm. for their loot Brimstone um, claimed the gauntlets of uh, Sunblight, giving them immense strength and abilities to uh, control their wild magic even more effectively. Stonks. Uh, Johnny got a Shardlin Boomer Dagger, allowing them to throw a boomerang dagger, ricocheting it around and hitting multiple targets. And uh, Elna got themselves a pair of braces, allowing them to cast their cantrips even more efficiently. And after mounting themselves up on the back of the Shardlin Dragon, they launched it out of the top of Sunblight, leaving a garrison, as it were, of two remaining guards to, <laughs> to secure <laughs> to secure the fortress. And they flew themselves. Nope, you didn't get it. No. I think you got it. Nope. No. It's, no, it's right. there. Like it's moving. Yeah, that's not, that one's not a... It's not a mosquito, it's just a bug. No. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> we have bugs, everybody, in case you wonder what's going on. Um... Yeah. <laughs> And so they return back to uh, Icewind Dale, or to the towns of Icewind Dale. Their dragon giving off uh, quite a bit of fear and panic when it first arrived, but you were able to uh, explain that you were not the uh, the Duraga, and celebrations like were had. I feel like we wouldn't explain. Well, no. Yes. <laughs> Basically, explaining that you weren't—you weren't—you weren't the hostiles. Essentially, yeah. you weren't, weren't planning to kill them 
Yet. yet. <laughs> Ma- main word, yet. <laughs> and so, with that, you have spent the uh, the last week or so in town. And oh, we... yeah. <gasps> Greater restoration. Oh, to get rid of the madness. Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. There, were, there was some madness, you were correct. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> that Cheers. was my fault. Yes. Yeah. The madness occurred. <laughs> um... So yes, and so with that, you have all returned uh, to town, you, and we find you all resting comfortably in your beds of an evening. We actually have a new brimstone model as well. Illyra got sick of brimstone wanting to keep everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. true, yeah. It was just like... <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> it's mine. Is this is this madness? No, no. It's such a yeah. You you cure, you cure brimstone. Nothing changes. <laughs> that, no, that that'd be me. <laughs> you cure me. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. All right. Brimstone doesn't want to be in the same room as the captain because there's octopuses in there. Octopi. I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> we. It's not yeah. like that with Octavio. <laughs> Honestly, let me sleep at the end of the bed. Oh. <laughs> Show the audience that makes the new more dice sense. Tower. Oh yes, we have new dice towers too, audience. If you wish to. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't sure about the sleeping arrangement, so I put you all in the same room. But That's uh... right. everyone got sick of brimstone. Shit. Okay, so look, we got we got Octavio dice tower. Dice tower here. It's very shiny. Very shiny. And we also have just evil. <laughs> there you go. The castle gray skull. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> <Not> much. <laughs> yeah. There are antlers, but they're still printing. Oh, right, so they actually yeah. attached in the yeah. holes there, I see. Yeah, cool. It's a veiny skull, which is very weird. It's Boys and girls well. in the same room, how dare we? <laughs> <laughs> a chaos. Um, okay, so Brimstone sleeping in the other room. Um, what's everyone else doing then? Uh, um. And we're just going to go and see what the town's doing. Well, no, this, well, this is this is when you've all turned in for the night. Oh, okay, this is just yeah. a sleeping arrangement. This is on the web. Sleep, yes. sleep. So, all right, cool. No worries. Um, I'll, I'll send you a proper picture, maybe. Yeah. All right, Brimstone. Yes. Works out quite well, in fact. Oh. <laughs> I just lost my leg. Give me a break. In the night. Oh yes, new peg leg exactly for for uh, for Brimstone. As you are sleeping. Brimstone, you feel something hooking you in the arm. What? I want five more minutes. Okay. Wake up, Mom. <laughs> I am not your mother. <laughs> ah. Who are you? You know me. You killed me. I killed many people. Can you be more specific? You <laughs> took my egg. This is a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. looking awfully goblin like for a not goblin. <laughs> Um, actually, no, tell a lie. It's going to be, it's going to use this vengeful glare. Make a wisdom saving throw, please. <laughs> mm. Should do the Baldur's Gate uh, mm. narrator voice. What's this? The consequences of, of your, your actions. actions. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve, okay. So you open your eyes and you see the face of the halfling goblin that you guys made a deal with and murdered in the wastes. I saved him, by the way. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then wanted his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, so as you as you look in, into his eyes, you see this ghostly form, and you are basically sleep paralyzed. Okay. Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. Mm. So you can talk, but you cannot move. <laughs> we we'll the same noise. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. You will bring me my egg. Or I will kill you all. Ow. <laughs> I will kill you all. Oh. Interesting side note I have one of those trunks on its way. I found it in my uncle's house. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> 
Stop ruining the sea! <laughs> <laughs> Not important information! <laughs> uh, do you say anything? Can I say anything? You can say stuff, you just can't okay. move. Um, well, about the egg, we don't have it anymore. Retrieve it! Give it back to me! Give it to a dragon, so no. Not my problem! <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're dead, you don't need it anymore. Want my egg! <laughs> no! Give it to me! No! Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Give it here now, or you die! <laughs> here comes, here comes the punch. <laughs> <laughs> um, a twenty yes, sixty. Yes, yes, okay. Oh shit! I've just taken um, a drink. Okay, okay, you take. And because you paralyze, this is an automatic critical. Yeah, I know. So you take uh twenty four. Lucky <laughs> I did that full heal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twenty four plus. Uh, 10, 12, so 36 points of of bludgeoning damage. Ow, you prick. I will be back. I'll Get go. me the egg. Okay. And he fades away. <laughs> and you are no longer paralyzed. Oh, funny that he came out. Ah. I'm the one that technically killed him. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I want to run into the other room. Da, 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 da. Smashing straight through the doors. <laughs> Captain, can I sleep with you? <laughs> Get in. I have a bad dream. <laughs> got space diarrhea. The man we, the man we killed wants his egg back. He punched me. Yeah, that hurt. You mean the egg that we gave to a dragon? Yeah, he wants it back, or he said he's gonna kill me. Then you, oh, get, then you hear you. a voice. I'll kill all of you. You guys hear that, or just me? Hear what? Everyone hears that. Oh, okay. yeah. You hear, you, I heard you, that. You hear, you hear, you hear a different <laughs> body, body voice. You will all die. See? And you see, you, you just see a disembodied head of the goblin floating. The lyrical's like straight up. Like, what the fuck was that? I'm just asleep. He hit me. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> oi! Wake, ah. up. Wake up. Stab. Kind of important. <laughs> Johnny, we're gonna need an egg back. Can you lay one? <laughs> All right, give me a second. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's it been like five minutes in? <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna need some fiber. Okay, okay, that's in enough. Five minutes. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, it's been five minutes. So no. <laughs> so how exactly are we going to face a dragon? Um, and maybe with our dragon? Could, we, could, I, could I borrow the dragon for a little bit? <laughs> I feel like it would be smart for us all to go. No, no, I need to borrow it a little bit. <laughs> you can drive. Okay. <laughs> Is that a wise idea? Um, he said he's going to kill me, so... Yeah. We're all... No, I mean, is it a wise idea to let you drive? Oh, oh. I'm driving. <laughs> so you get, I guess, oh, you might need this. And a little, a little hole opens up. Um, in the wall, <laughs> <laughs> and a penis comes through, and a little, a little, a little thing begins to emerge, and then, it, and it's a scroll. <laughs> so, oh, that I'm not made me that. severely <laughs> uncomfortable. Literally, just gonna stare at the wall like, motherfucker! If you're gonna kill us, don't play double sided. Lyra, can you read? Can you get the scroll and read it? Oh, for fuck's sake, should grab it. You unfurl it, the map. Is it the point of being our enemy to try and kill us, not to help us? Whatever. I don't know, he's dumb. <laughs> also, he dead. How is he talking to us? <laughs> That's true. Why does he need the egg? I mean, there are other planes of existence. We've already I'm really figured that out. I would like true. to go find some sage. Some sage? <laughs> I'm going to sage everything. <laughs> sage the room. <laughs> you go downstairs. It is the middle of the night. That's okay. Go to the kitchen. You go to the kitchen. Yeah, you, find, you go to the kitchen. You start tearing things up, trying to find. <laughs> my sage. I've got some right. coriander. Yes, yeah, so you, find, you find something that you think is sage, but probably not. But anyway, you, just, yeah. you sage the room. All right. Well, surely Mister Ghost will understand that if he wants his egg back, we're gonna need a full night's rest. So good night. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, back to sleep. Me 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 me. Oh, Captain, can I sleep with you? All right. He punched me. I <laughs> 
Octavia move over. <laughs> oh, I'll just want to stand with it. You can have a whole I'll bed to yourself. Up. <laughs> I'll fall up. My fart fell out. <laughs> My fart's about to fall out. <laughs> I got the leg exit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, yeah, so you get your hit points back. You manage to sleep off. Oh, the, thank God. You sleep. <laughs> you sleep. You sleep off the punch in the face. I thought I was gonna get punched again. That's why I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it is morning. Alrighty. <sighs> And flings out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Way. All right. All right. Breakfast. 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 All right. Breakfast, and then let's figure us. out. Yes. You make your way downstairs. <laughs> Breakfast is being served. Uh, Carl remains on guard duty in the hallway, and Robot Danny Jr., Oh, yeah, that's right. Carl follows you back down. Go about him. In order to get down the stair, uh, get up to the rooms, is actually uh, you've got to go through the kitchen, out the back, up the le- up the, <laughs> the stairs. Um, does... I'm assuming we've gone to pick up Dennis's armor from the back. Yes, you have. You have. Yes. Ar- you have an armored Dennis now as well. Yes. What's his AC now? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Thirty-two AC. Thirty-two AC. Damn, Dennis ain't dying. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> uh-huh. Just just crits, things that'll instantly kill him. Yeah. <laughs> the AC not the problem, it's the hit points. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll give you a, a, an updated stat block on okay. Dennis later on. But yeah. It was like a a place armor, I'm guessing. It was bullet armor. Yeah, Buell- 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 that was Buell, which would count as a, a, a effectively a, a breastplate. So whatever whatever a, a, a breastplate does. Uh, yeah, I gave it the bullet armor and my spare breastplate from mum. Yeah, so like it's it's imbe- it's yeah he's imbued it with the with the bit there. Mm. So yeah, so the the armor is it's it's effectively a, a breastplate um, plus whatever. So it's like plus two. So I think it's like AC sixteen. I think that's mm. his. I think a breastplate is fourteen, and then it's maximum of two on your decks. Mm. Hang on. So, breastplate. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So his maximum AC can be sixteen. That's his max. Dennis is a sixteen AC. Okay. Yeah. Um. I will also say just for the fun of it, he has he now has a dig speed equal to his walking speed because it's it's the bullet thing, so he can actually he can dig it. <laughs> he can he can borrow. <laughs> Feel one back. All right. Did I have Dennis set up? I think I actually lost. That. It was just Mastiff, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will just say this is the Dennis wearing armor for now. He's so cute. It's not the correct model, but that's this all. No, that's okay. This will be the one we use. Good enough. Good enough for now. So for a good boy. You might need to build a. We might need to build a specific Dennis miniature. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't know how to do dogs, so. Well, we'll sort that out after yeah. the session. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, breakfast is served. Um, you've um, been comped your your room and food while you've been staying here because of your service to the city as well as the additional performances that Alira can perform being a bard. Um, hey. So, um, yeah, what do you guys want to have a good look at this map? I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's have a squeeze at the map. Mm-hmm. The map. Let me just hang on. Bring up the. The overworld map. Well, Spire, Town, Gym, my modern scan of overworld. Alrighty, you're currently um, spending time in 
Bryn Shander. And that was where you ended up after. Because that is the main... <coughs> Fuck! Stop it! Stop zooming in! <laughs> <laughs> so, after going here, you... <laughs> Back to Bryn Shander. We were door loops. We yeah. Were, yeah. <laughs> Well, you got to test the wings. It's like, yeah. where the fuck are you guys? Yeah. Um, I feel like the, the loop would be more vertical than. Well, the yes, 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 bit yes. of both. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you you fly around Duggan's Hole, going, "Why is it called Duggan's Hole?" <laughs> oh, it's in a hole. It's a hole. I don't want to see. <laughs> um, the map indicates that the treasure hoard is somewhere. It basically has a big circle and a question mark. Circling around the sea of moving ice. However, it leads you to a little area here, and there's a note that says, Ring the bell. Gotcha. That's... Don't ring the bell. <laughs> as much uh, as I want to press buttons, don't ring the bell. I'm, ri I'm ringing and running. <laughs> Ding dong, ditch that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you've also, since you've had uh, the time um, working out the functions of the dragon mm. there is actually a horn there's a horn well, not so much a horn but there is actually a a canopy button ah. <laughs> so... it's a convertible yeah so yes. it, it's it isn't it isn't like a it isn't like a like a full roof but the idea is that it's similar to like a a motorcycle yeah. glass mm. so when you're traveling at high speeds and long distance you can push this button it flings up the shield that way you're not getting blasted in the face by by ice as you're traveling you still have to keep low but it's not uncomfortable um it basically has a speed a speed travel function um, it red, so it goes really fast yes yeah. exactly so knowing uh with the with the dragon you could very easily make this trip in like a day and a half Sweet. But, uh, but what are we going to do when we get to the dragon? That's my thing. Yeah. That's a good question. I got <laughs> I'm at a loss. Could we offer something in exchange for the egg? And what exactly do you propose we have that's worth the same as an egg? Is that egg? Uh, Could we get our mechanical dragon I mean, to someone has the a dragon? Guardian, just saying. <laughs> okay, so how do we know that the dragon is not going to demand our dragon in return? So, so, so Bard on on robot dragon seduces other dragons. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. I, I mean, it's cliche, but <laughs> the, you <laughs> bye, snow, snow. <laughs> <laughs> Are we fucking the dragon or? We might be. We can try. <laughs> so that's plan Always B. wanted to try. It's more plan A. <laughs> it's currently plan only. Okay, and any think, other ideas? I, I think we need another plan. Cause yeah. Somehow I doubt I'll be able to talk us out of it this time. Because like, I know I'm a smooth talker with those other barbarians, but... <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yep. Totally yeah. believe that. I mean, you can always sneak. That's a that's a possibility. Mm. Historically have you known anyone to be able to sneak past a dragon? I mean I could I... He doesn't read the books. So I don't read. Know. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Um... What's my intelligence? I, I can kind of read. As long as there's pictures. <laughs> can we do a history check to fuck to see if we remember anyone in history sneaking past a dragon? Sure. The answer is no. <laughs> I feel... I have to do a history check. I... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Maybe I can do a history check. What did you get? Flat 10. A flat 10? Okay. No, no. You've heard tales of you know people telling how they managed to sneak into a dragon's lair while the dragon was not around to steal its hoard and then blame the, th the theft on other people and or just make it completely out of there mm. as quickly as possible. I think we can do it. We can do that. Mm, if you're sure. I think our odds I'm, are I'm confident. best now with our transport. I mean, being a dragon we're going to have to park this thing a long way away for the dragon to not know we're coming this is true that's if he's even there 
But what if he is there? That's what that's my thing. Do we look go to plan B or because <laughs> then we do I need mean, the dragon. I mean, that's a possibility. Uh, so I don't know about you, but if I was a dragon, I think I'd notice another dragon in my territory. Well, this dragon's been in his territory for a while now. I'm guessing. In it's... his territory, but not in his face. If you would like to do Touché. a, you, you <laughs> could you could ask people about the the legends of the dragon if you wanted to. There that are, is a good idea. There are people that have lived here. If you're looking for more information, L yes. let's ask around. Okay. So the information you're able to get um, in terms of rumor is that the the dragon um, in question is a lady dragon. Ooh, that. <laughs> um, the name of the dragon is Aviatoris. She is an ancient white dragon. Mm. So she is, she is probably one of the most powerful types of dragon that exists. Anyone have a notepad? Uh, I can give you a notepad. There you are. I refuse to to forget someone's name again. Is that Aviatoris with an A-R or no? Uh, I will give you the spelling. Give me a moment. I suppose we better look up the stats because you're probably going to have to kill it. Pen, pen would also be yeah. good, thank you. <laughs> you can write with fire. <laughs> you can write with fire. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I oh, yeah, probably could. But... You're not you finger not, in the wax. Not on this yeah. small scale. Keys. Uh, Arcane Brotherhood, Avarice. <laughs> no, no. We're not doing that. No. I'm putting it down. Sorry. <laughs> What's the flavor that came with that one? This one. This one's the ghost drop one. Um, yeah, purple. Oh, that's it. It's purple in the wilderness purple. encounters because you keep running into her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, A R V. Okay, A R yeah. I E. Sorry, a oh, fuck. I'm reading it. And I spelled it completely wrong. Okay, A R V E I A. Yep. T U R A C E. Well, that's a spelling. Mm. And she is an ancient white dragon. Um, big as fuck. So she's very, very big. On her back, there is a rider. Some say it is an undead rider. Some say that this rider is just a corpse. That has been, <laughs> but, but, that has been that, that died on the back and has never, um, never been removed. Aviatoris is actually um, blind. Gotcha. So she uh, has. Uh, she's so tips. she's so old that she has cataracts over oh. both of her eyes. Uh. So her her actual <laughs> her actual line of sight is limited in what she is able to see but it, things that are close enough to her her magical blind sight takes over so if you're able to out pace and and hide it is possible some people have said they've you know they've heard tales of people that have encountered her in the wilderness and have just you know stood still and moved away until she has left or of um wouldn't she smell like a t-rex yeah just again so uh, uh, these are these are rumors that you're hearing stories mm -hmm. stories exactly there's one tale of a person that thought they were camping on the top of a hill it turned out they were camping on the back of avia tourists and when she awoke he was flung <laughs> quite a ways away when um, he when she flew away with his tent strapped to his back <laughs> to her back Jesus. Okay. So maybe the person on her back is someone who just thought it was camping on a hill. Yeah. <laughs> the rumors are that it is a like a mounted saddle. So. Okay. And you actually remember when you saw the dragon in your your small encounter? There was actually a straps and a little saddle. Well, on Well, this back. would have been the dragon that knocked us out of our ship originally. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. I feel like there was someone talking to us on top of it. Wasn't 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 the dragon talking to us? No, I thought there was a lady on top talking. It it is a lady. It is a lady. Not the dragon. <laughs> the dragon is a lady. Um. Oh, so you're a girl dragon. <laughs> oh. You're a girl. I mean, of course you're a girl yeah. dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in mind, Lyra. <laughs> no, I think I've, I vaguely Come remember on, someone yelling at us on top of the dragon. 
I don't remember. I, th- I think I got a little bit of brain damage. Yeah, you did. Directly after that. So. I have it before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we come in? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, perhaps, what's your plan? Well, we're going to need to go this way anyway, because there might be consequences otherwise. Uh, I suggest that we park the dragon at least a kilometre away from whatever that is that we ring the bell at. I don't think it's coming down soon. <laughs> Bang it out by the light. Ah. I'm getting distracted by mosquitoes, everyone. All right, go on. I popped ah. it as well. Sorry. Uh, Distractions. <laughs> Two of us has ADHD. It's like, look at the butterfly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, do you agree that perhaps we should park the dragon at a, 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 a yes. decent distance from where we're supposed to ring said bell? Uh, uh, yes. We should walk. Uh, after flying. Sorry. Um, I have little legs in you. Shut up. <laughs> we're caught with bad ankles. Um, oh, now, who had the crown? Okay. So that crown also, um, through your time, it does have a secondary feature as well. Um, if you remember reading the card on it, the crown allows you to control the dragon. That's right. If you're not, yeah. if you're not mounted on it. Um, this would also allow you, if you wanted to, basically to send the dragon away somewhere and then call it to you. All right. Well, <laughs> sweet. I suppose we can have it further away than a K just to be safe <laughs> then yeah. as well. How we can have it doing Plan B, we get a megaphone, and then <laughs> you can control the dragon while you seduce the dragon with your voice. <laughs> oh, yes. Distract <gasps> distract the dragon with the dragon yeah. while we get the egg. And then while they do stuff, you know, things you do on the first date, mm-hmm. um, we can sneak in and steal. And then somehow get out of there. I don't know. I think we need a plan B because plans don't go ahead with us. I don't know. I'm going to go um, shopping while we think of things. Nice passing notes. (laughs) Oh, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm showing that my persuasion and deception are now plus 11, which means my base roll for persuasion and deception is 21. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) So this could work. (laughs) (laughs) Right? I would have to roll fairly high anyway, I think. Can you do inspiration on yourself? No. Fuck. I mean, I, I can cast Password a Trace and I can be at a base level of 23. To hide, yeah. Of stealth. Yeah. You guys, you guys are all very good at your your respective... Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not even a rogue, properly. My respective is stonks. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like we do need a plan B because our... We're, we're us. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, I suggest plan A be the stealth... Yeah. Plan and B, plan B is, B is so I will attempt to talk us out of it. It's just distract it. at least. Yeah. Well, we still egg, so I don't get punched anymore. <laughs> I suppose I could. Plus seven on performance, so yeah, I suppose I can create a distraction if that doesn't work. Yeah. Um. I would like to go shopping. Okay. What are you looking yeah. for? Um. Anything. Anything. Yeah, my quiver's feeling a bit empty. Okay, you can fill you can fill up your quiver quite. Uh, how, how many how many javelins did you throw? Um, a few. Yeah. So yeah, you can again ba- any basic equipment. You, I only have twelve javelins now. Yeah. <laughs> so any any like I say any any basic equipment that you want you can find without issue. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, just just pay the um, the uh, the cost and the DMG. I would like to do a general check of the magic store. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I should look at why the fuck is this not connecting I, to the internet? Because I did ask for a wacken stick. Oh, uh, the wacken stick. They sell them. Saw still wacken stick. I'm sorry to say. Uh, that was one thing that I did actually check beforehand. Um. So, do you want to just do a a, uh, a table roll? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Give me a second here. Get the latest version of the Twitch app. All right, fine. Will this be D100? Uh, yes, everyone. D100's for um, all. That won't fit in the dice tower. Yeah. 
we were going to try with his big D20 he has, but mm -hmm. it'd get through the first bit, but not... Yeah, it'll just get stuck in there forever. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not gift. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Roll straight 20. I'd also like to sell my dragon hide belt. Okie dokie. Sure. Because I don't need that shit. <laughs> if I roll this rebuild, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. That was what you traded out for your, uh, no, your boot, the boomer one. dagger. Yeah. I, I can guess this one. I, I rolled the exact same thing. Twinsies. 77. Okay, so. Um, um, why do I have costume in my okay, equipment and another costume again in my backpack? All right, so you go to the. Makes sense. Hang on, let me just set this bit up here. Zip zub. Yes, I will. Now, oh, so I'm just hold that for a second. There you go. Hold it, don't read it. No, you can read it, it's fine. You don't know what table I'm using. Uh, just memorize all. <laughs> memorize them all upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm that good. I want the full clock when you for now. Exactly. <laughs> really? Wow. Uh, where, am I? where is old Zoblob's shop? Is it? Oh, I don't think I actually put old Zoblob into the uh, the Icewind Dale game. He's still in the Dragon Heist game. Yeah. All right. So you go to the old Zoblob tra uh, franchise of Bryn Shanda. Ooh, everyone's here. Thank you very much. Was, ah, hello. What can I get you today? Or are you, just, or are you just browsing? Browsing. Oh, browsing, right. thank you. I, 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 go. Alrighty. Uh, what did you roll? 20. 20. All right. Um, you find a sentinel shield <laughs> on the shelf. The sentinel shield. Let me read what that does. Nope, that's parcels of land. Staff, the swarming insects, staff, staff, staff. Shield and missile attraction. Slip as a spike climbing. Sending stone. Sentinel shield. Okay. By holding this shield, you have advantage on initiative and wisdom perception checks. Uh, the shield is emblazoned with the symbol of an eye. Um, nope, that's it. So it just gives you advantage on uh, wisdom perception and initiative rolls. I don't think I need those just yet. What else has we found? Uh, what did you roll, uh, Elna? Eleven. 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 <laughs> um, uh, you find <laughs> a um, a plus one scimitar. Oh, that I think. Because you have a scimitar, I believe you could. Yes. You could upgrade. Sweet. Sure. How much? That'll be two hundred gold. Too much. Mm, why not? Okay. No, 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 don't worry, Captain. I've got this. What about 199 gold? Shrewd <laughs> <laughs> hmm. negotiator. And a kiss from me. <laughs> 201. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the cat? You heard it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, as soon as it was the kiss, like. Nope. <laughs> Never. No, Never. Thank you. 150 and I'll make him leave the store. <laughs> Done. I will fight you back. Yeah. Johnny, what did you find? Um, what did you roll, sorry? 19. 19. Um, oh, you find the same sentinel shield. Um, I don't want it. No. So I'll just go, I'll go to the next part, next step down. Uh, you find an amulet of proof against detection. Ooh. That might be handy. I think it just prevents you from being scryed on. Mm. Not so much. Yes, it's not a it's not a high thing. It's a uh, the, a scry thing. Mm. Dice jail. <laughs> yeah. That works. <laughs> find the deck of many things. I mean, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't want that. I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> wants the deck of many things. I don't. 
I remember very, what happened last time. I yes. very much do. Best, the best things ever happened. Uh, um, really okay. Up. While wearing this amulet, you are hidden from divination magic. You can't be targeted by such <laughs> magic or perceived through magical scrying senses. So it allows you to hide from magical devices, basically. Nah, I don't want that. But can I offer you something? Oh, yes. You already oh. rejected me, Johnny. Uh, not you, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A, a belt of dragon, <laughs> a dragon hide belt. Oh, plus one, plus one dragon hide belt. That's well, an uncommon this... item, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Wondrous yeah. item, uncommon. Yeah. He will look at that. And he goes, mm, yeah, pretty good quality. You, yeah, I could offer you two hundred gold for that. Two hundred and one. <laughs> And a not kiss. a kiss. No kisses. Done. <laughs> yeah. Brimstone's going to be looking through the shelves, just holding back, is it? <laughs> what a Brimstone roll. Um, 78. 78. All right. Um, ooh, okay. So oh. you're looking around, and you see something, and you're like, Hey, Johnny, this looks like you. It's a figurine um, of a silver raven. Ooh. Hey, that is me. I want it. So this is a figurine of wondrous power. Ooh. Ooh. I want it. Ah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get another one and they're gonna kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could call me a bitch. Uh javelin of lightning. Earlier I hear Brimstone sniffling just hands him the leather flask of clear water. <laughs> <laughs> That's vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, e F G H I J K E F G. I've gone. I've gone too far. H I J. You would do that uh, as well. It just F G. I can't tell you if it's actually alcohol. <laughs> no, it's All right, here we go. Uh, the figurine of wondrous power. Obsidian steed, onyx, Just silver like raven. Energy. Okay. Energy. The silver statuette of a raven can become a raven for up to 12 hours. Once it has been used, it cannot be used again until two days have passed. While the raven form, the figurine allows you to cast animal messenger spell at will. I, I would like to buy. Okay. Um, and I will not kiss you. Mm. <laughs> to sweeten the deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be 250 gold. I can do that. There you go. Can I do another search just for shits and giggles? Um, no. One of you Sorry. can do an additional search, so it's up to there you go, guys. You, can do you it. could take it. All right, go for do it. it. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That's the wrong dice. So, so what was it called? Sorry. A figurine of wondrous power, a silver raven. Eighty. Eighty. This for a bonus item. Um. Oh, it is a pair of um, magical gloves. These are gloves of missile snare. I mean, I can catch arrows. Basically, it's it's a similar thing to what uh, what Johnny can do, but I think they also require attunement. You may not. Oh, no, no, yeah, I can't get them. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, gauntlets of ogre power, gem of brightness, brightness, gloves of missile yeah, snaring. Yeah, that's it. Um, that. these gloves, yeah, they do require attunement. Mm. But uh, when you don them, when a ranged weapon attack hits you while you're wearing them, you can use your reaction to reduce the damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier, provided you have a free hand. Uh, if you reduce the damage to zero, you can catch the missile and hold it in your hand. So it's what it's what um, hmm. what monks can do, but they just don't have the ability to throw it back. Mm, okay. Well, I will not get catch, those. No. Because I don't have any attunement slots left. Okay. Will I need to attune to this? It is not an attunement item. Okay, that's good. It's just an item you have. Oh, good. Okay. Alrighty. Also, don't forget, one of you's got the Hat of Disguise as well, the little Pope hat. Not me. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, that does require attunement, but... Oh, shit. I just, I just saw the list here, the Hat of Disguise. So while wearing this hat... You can use an action to cast Disguise Self at will. It ends if the hat is removed. So okay. basically you can make yourself look however you want, whenever you want, if you're if you're achieving the hat. Shit, what do I do? Um, apparently I have two sets of costume clothing. Can I sell one? Uh, sure. Someone will buy those for half what they're worth. Hmm. General. 
Um, Costume clothing isn't really something that someone would in Icewind Dale wants. <laughs> it's not really something that they need. All right, well, I'll sell this set because apparently it's only worth five and this set's worth ten. So I'm assuming the one worth ten is slightly better quality. <laughs> so I'll just fuck that off and say one gold. Hmm. Captain? Yeah. Do you have any attunement things left? Like slots? Because then you could have the hat. Uh. I want. I don't know how to untune a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of stuck in me. How do I tell? Um, right inventory down the, down the very bottom. Yes. Um. If you detune from, well, actually, you would need to detune from the. I've got three. Three, yeah, but okay. you're gonna have to detune to the psi crystal in order to use the uh, illusionist braces. Oh. Maybe I'll just keep it there, just for yeah, yeah. And again, yeah. like if you if you feel like you're going to going in going into a place where you want to disguise, if you've got an hour, you can just mm. don the hat Swap or something. Um, what if I want to sell the loot strings since I can't use them? Uh, the loot strings, uh, he'll offer you uh, two hundred for those as well. Done. There you go. What was it? The hat of disguise. The hat of disguise. Yeah. Could I just wear it? Just. Absolutely, you can, just, you can just wear it for a hat. Absolutely, you just don't get the benefits of the effect. That's okay. Yeah, because I, I just really want to can't. I can't deattune from the tattoo. Obviously, I don't want to deattune from my loot, and I don't want to de deattune from my. You yeah, are loot. you are capable of detuning from the tattoos if you spend if you spend time. Um, I like my sixteen AC. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you sp if you if you guys decide you don't want a specific tattoo, you can you can take time and you can actually focus on the tattoo, and you can for because it is magical, you can force it off your skin, hmm. and it will just become um, it will actually form itself into a little syringe, and then you can actually just re reapply it oh. if you no, wish to. I, I like my AC yeah. where it is. Hmm. Alright, I'm good. Okie dokie. Just trying to get this, make sure I got this. Uh, stream manager. There we go. As we're about to leave, I'd like to go up to the guy. I'm like, so what was it about my kiss that you didn't like? Like, It's... Yeah. Beard with beard it doesn't really work. It can. No. I can show you some videos. No, thank you. Alara just walks in and just grabs Brimstone by the collar. <laughs> well, he might like to see the video. He's clearly not interested, okay? He looks somewhere else. I look everywhere, okay? And then, and then, um, <laughs> and Dog is... thank you, Dennis. <laughs> you, you All righty. So, with your shopping trip done, you are able to mount up on your dragon and let's fly, fly away. Away you go, you. Whoosh. Um, for this because you're only taking a very short time, just roll me one random encounter, please, somebody. Mm. Uh, which dice? So D12 for the random encounter. I will. Eight. Yep, you're good. You do not run into anything on we, the way. We don't. So we run to the dragon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had it? I'd be like, fuck! <laughs> That's well, when we I swear we're not following you. You <laughs> <laughs> drag races. Okie dokie. So eventually, while traveling, you make your way to... <laughs> uh, leaving the dragon behind, I'm assuming, yes? Yes. yes. Right, yeah. Have a so daughter perimeter. You leave, you leave the dragon, uh, you bury it in snow, oh. and... <laughs> That's a slightly better size for the top. No. <coughs> Call a mastiff. A massive stiff. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. It works with us. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you approach um, where the map uh. indicates. And looking out over, you can see... A dock with a bell in the middle of. That must be a bell. Yeah. Is the water frozen? I imagine. Uh, certain. This is actually mostly loose, okay. but there are like these like floating uh, the icebergs. Johnny, fly over there and ring the bell. We'll, we'll stay right here. 
I'm gonna go over to the hut and see what's in the hut. Maybe. Have a look in the hut. <laughs> <laughs> How far away is the bell? The bell? Captain, you need to bring in that bird like he's 170 feet away. Ooh, no, that's not happening. Uh, it is a stone cabin. The small cabin faces the bay. Uh, the bloated door is covered in ice and dormant barnacles hang slightly ajar on a rusted hinge. Uh, um... Thick rime coats every surface and object inside the cabin, including a bed draped in a thick knit blanket. Beside the bed is a small hearth that holds a precious store of firewood. The firewood is infested with worms that have been e have eaten away the tender parts of the wood, uh, but it is safe to burn. Uh, there's enough uh, wood to fuel a nightly fire for three days and is stored in six bundles that weigh 30 pounds each. And that is it. That is heavy wood. Yes. I just realised it is possible at disadvantage. Can I try and shoot the bell with my with my crossbow? Sure. So you. Um, no. Twelve to hit. Twelve, you. And again. <laughs> You're just gonna keep going until it works. I take it. Yeah, I rolled fifteen. Fifteen. All right. With a fifteen, you. It goes. Ding. You, you, you hear the ding, but it doesn't ding. A very soft ding. I'll give my. Would you like a go. javelin? I can't throw javelins. Can you throw javelins 170 feet? That's a good question. No. No. <laughs> I got little arms. What's the maximum distance on a javelin? 120. Okay. Well, actually, from here. Oh, well, would like... my spear be able to go forever? Oh, no, it's still 170. Well, yeah. no, that's 60. What about closer up? 150. Hey. <laughs> 150 looks like the maximum distance of the bell. Yeah, now I can't do that. So mm. was... yeah. If only we had a bird that could fly over and do it. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Fine. Go. I'll bird form it and fly over there. Okay. I want to push him off. My only other other way over there I mean, I mean there's, all, there's also a, um, a captain that is capable of swimming and doesn't feel oh the cold. Oh my god, and, yeah. And, <laughs> and communi communicate with sea creatures. Of... But, but I, I, I basically, basically you, ha you have Aquaman in your, <laughs> in your party. Aquaman. All right, well, I'll go across then. Yeah. I'm happy to. <laughs> I'll go. Fine, I'll put, put it back on. <laughs> Johnny just gets, gets undressed and Elders goes, oh wait, I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Some of the tentacle and get it. Eh. <laughs> just send Octavio. Yeah, alright. That could work too. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old Octavio, always forget about him. He's on your head. He's on your head. <laughs> yeah. He's just very, he's just very, he's, we become he's the propeller. One. He's just very comfortable there. Mm. He's just the propeller. Alright. A one much. foot diameter copper bell dangles from a ten foot uh, tall bird. wooden pole attached to a short wooden pier. The bell comes with a rope and a clamper. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, that's all you said. Okay, well, ring it and come back. I yell that. Mm, yeah, ding dong ditch. <laughs> ring, all right, I'm gonna back. ding dong ditch. <laughs> okay. Do I have to like hit it? Like, so no, punch no, it no there's, there's a rope. To... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> pull the rope. Oh. Wow. Tie your rope <laughs> to that rope and then swim back here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You... Honestly, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, you. You ding the bell. It is a large, resounding ding. And everyone hears ding, ding, ding. Uh -oh. oh, I could have done that with thunderclap. Run. Run. Can I get back to the others? Okay. Swim. You, ASAP. You, you run and you splidoosh into uh -oh. the water. As you splidoosh into uh -oh. the water, you go, you go, ow. Because as you oh. are go, as you are coming... <laughs> Down a massive whale. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? A massive whale with a bubble on its head, and you just go, ah, boom, and you land on top of this whale uh -huh. as it pops up, and you hit in the when you hear the whale go, oh, <laughs> what the hell? I was scared. Captain, what are you doing? There's a whale. Why is? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> 
You notice it's mounted like... on top of the whale, there's actually this force field bubble and a boat strapped to its head. <laughs> like, oh, like, I you found rang, that ride. You rang the bell, <laughs> didn't you? Does that mean we have to go over there? Yes. Actually, could we swim over and pick my friends up, or is this the destination? No, you have to pay the toll. <laughs> oh. What's the toll? What's the toll? What's the toll? I require something delicious. Something Seafood. Mm. Um. Your hat looks rather tasty. Oh. <laughs> what your <girl>, captain? <laughs> can, can I just resummon you though? <laughs> that was really fucking hurt. <laughs> the tentacles. But if you want, I'm cool that you can do on the left. <laughs> uh, can I do a uh, to see if any fish in the water in front of me? Um, okay, give me a a nature check. Nature. You. Just sacrifice. Pattern, what's going on? Thirteen. Thirteen. I might have to sacrifice a limb of Octavio. Just look down. Oh, the whole thing. Oh. What about a giant tentacle? Are you sure that's a ghost tentacle? It is. A ghost. Yeah. It's a half oh. the calories. <laughs> yeah. All that flavor and not to your waist. Exactly. Can I ask where exactly you go before paying this toll? Wherever you need to go in oh. the sea of moving ice, where do you wish to go? Hmm. <laughs> we really didn't think this through. No. <laughs> <laughs> How do you prepare, but though? Would that just be to pick my friends up, or have I got you for as long as I need? No, you have me for the day. Okay. I'm sorry, Octavio. <laughs> no. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll see you in another life. <laughs> so you throw <laughs> Octavio, and the whale just goes, mmm, nom, 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 nom. I'm just going to take my hat off and have a moment's silence. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. <laughs> It actually says here, right? It's one of those laughing at. Earning the trust of the whale. It says we'll be happy to provide transportation if the characters catch an octopus for it to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we came prepared. You came prepared. Yeah. It's like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Rip. How are we this prepared? <laughs> this prepared, but unprepared. Yes, yeah, sorry. I so thought uh, Octavio just... Uh, and the whale goes, goes, mmm, ashy. Because <laughs> when he dies, he bursts into flames. <laughs> Smoky. <laughs> Successfully right. unsuccessful. Yeah. Very well. Let's go pick up my crew. Okay. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> And as um, as, it, as as he agrees to assist you, the force field drops down, and you're able to go into the <laughs> into the boat. You're just slowly slipping off the answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, boom. yes, and you're through. Yes, and you guys actually cannot understand the whale, but you can because you understand. You can speak to sea yes. creatures, <laughs> so you see. Captain? <laughs> Captain, what happened to Octavia? Where is he? Why is this? <clears throat> why does this seem normal? I, I'm not concerned about the way. I had to pay a price, and oh, Octavio dear. was the price. <laughs> oh, right. I can resummon him. Ooh, another one! Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, that he was a member of our crew. Ooh. Not um, for long. <laughs> I'm, I'm more interested in this whale deal. What are we doing here? Well, come on, well? get them on here. I don't have all day. <laughs> well, technically, I do have. All, we do have all day, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I figured this could take us to the dragon potentially. Oh. No, you want he to, showed up with the bell. Speak with animals. <laughs> you want to go? You want to go see the dragon? The dragon, yeah. Oh, wow. fine. I will take you to their boat. Their boat. Boat. 
Mm. I'm assuming I can understand him now that I yes, have to Yes, you can. Brimstone feels left out, so he's like... Mm. How dare you? <laughs> I, I, think, I think it's working. Uh, no, I think you just insulted it. Oh, My mother shit. was a saint. <laughs> oh no, you insulted his mother. Oh, shit. <laughs> So, 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 do we need another Octavio to get the whale to help again? No, no, we've got him for the day. Oh, hello, sir, by the way. Hello! <laughs> Did you just assume? My name, it's fine. My name is Anjok. 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 Sure, that'll do. Anjok. Yes. Anjok. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, so we're going to the dragon, are we? We are going Preferably to the dragon. not where the dragon can see us to begin with. Well, we'll Don't be approaching fly. from underwater, so we'll be fine. How are you with uh, guardians? Like, what's your weight limit? Mm, we are you be... talking about me? We should be fine. <laughs> we should be fine. Oh, I will I take you to the Dark Duchess. Dark Duchess. Duchess. Dog Duchess, the frozen shipwreck and horde of the dragon. Sounds like fun. So, Captain, are we hopping on? Or yeah, hop what, on. What's going on? <laughs> we are just We're going to the dragon. Robot Come on. You need to get into the boat carefully. Okay, <laughs> Let's get in the bubble. Oh, he's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he doesn't get wet, we're fine. Mm -hmm. So you all mount up yep. on the whale, and as you mount up on the whale, um, the bubble... Whoop, forms up and you go all right oh. hold on and you whoosh. Elira would like to sight see what, what she can see yes in the you, you see in fact i will show you whoa a hiccup a hiccup <laughs> i will show you it's a really cool bit of artwork actually that that accompanies this it's like star wars episode one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it really is star wars oh. episode one there yeah. you go hmm. Narwhal. Yeah, so as you are, as you go for your, your dive, you see some friendly narwhals. Narwhal, narwhals. Thing else. Yes. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> I am... Uh, Obi. Obi. Oh, I am I am Obi. <laughs> Hello, Obi. This is Obi. He is one of the Narwhal Jedi. <laughs> I, I am Obi, and that's, that is one. Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Yes. Oh, so where are we heading to today? We're taking them to the Dark Duchess. Are they talking to each other? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 And just see Alira just like, Ooh. I would like to keep a narwhal, please. <laughs> is, is one horn green and one horn blue? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> one has two horns even. Mm. Yeah. Don't worry, we might as yes, dark, dark maul. Yeah. <laughs> this is maul. He's got, yeah. he's got, he's a hammerhead shark. Yeah. <laughs> and it just spins. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the, the... <laughs> we really are. You are transported. Um, after a little while, it doesn't take too long. But a few, uh, pr plenty of cool sightseeing. A very unique experience under the depths of under the sea. Under the sea, <laughs> and you eventually emerge <laughs> out of the water. Dennis is freaking out like he's going for a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bell town. We hear Dennis too. She's like, I'll speak for that old <laughs> Dennis is like, get me away from him. He's Literally. fucking weird. Uh, I'm you... just going to say to Dennis, it's okay, it's okay, he's not going to eat you. And you eventually emerge. You talking to me? <laughs> no, I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> <gasps> Captain, I found a ship! Onto a glacier <laughs> with a frozen <laughs> shipwreck. And Andrew says, Well, here we are. I'll, uh, I'll go down. I don't want to be seen if the dragon's around. But if it is, just uh, scream. And <laughs> I'll, Shout. I'll probably hear you. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! I'm so confused. What's going on? Well, yeah, here we are. Me too. Welcome. Horde, should we be smaller? Sorry. I said, if that ship is a dragon horde, should we be smaller? No. Mm -hmm. It's a small, very small ship then. Yeah. It goes under. Beauty. 
Mm. It's not about the size. It's about the quantity. The quality. <laughs> about the quality of the of the. Captain, I found us a ship. Yes. Well, this is the uh, oh, God, the dragon's the hoard. Yeah, we just take the whole ship. I somehow don't think it's mm. saleable right now. Yeah. Not with that attitude. Black Duchess. Here we go. All right. The sea of moving ice stretches out before you in a featureless frozen desert. Ahead, a smooth white surface is interrupted by a towering ship, its exterior covered in frost. There it is! Enjoy! <laughs> so uh, shall we uh, be sneaky? Yes, I would like to sneak. Sneak, activate. Yeah. Okay. So you, I, do, I do some hand movements and cast Pass Without Trace. Yeah. Yeah. Pass Without Trace? Pass Without Trace. Alright, so you do your stealth. As you are doing your stealth, you hear boom, 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 boom. Mm. Sounds coming from inside. Thumping and creaking coming from inside the hole. Uh. Roll, roll me your stealths, please. Stop. Also, what spell have you infused Robot Danny Jr. with? Have you changed that out from fly or? Healing. Oh, shit. So healing word or? Uh, mass cure wounds. A mass cure wounds. wounds, right. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck. During that week, I may as well have expended the best healing I've got. I, I'm not even here anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta talk to you. I'm like, where'd he go? Yeah, the no, Johnny went shit. Yeah. No, I got a natural can't. 20. Yeah, so. <laughs> so that is a. 43? Yeah. 43? Yeah. 43. I mean, I'm no longer yeah. here. So, so Johnny. I gotta talk to Johnny. I'm like, moves, oh. moves, st stealth in such a way you guys don't even remember that Johnny exists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that? Was, was there? I, don't, I seem to remember there was. I gotta a talk to him. Oh, oh. oh, I just saw. Uh, hmm. um, you should be fine if the rest of the group are all fine. That one. Meaning. One. Three. Three thirteen. Oh. Because okay. pass without yeah. trace. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. So twenty-five. Twenty-five. Plus ten. Yeah. Uh, Brimstone? Um, 18. 18? Total? With the plus 10? Um, and then plus 10 on top so of that. So 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys are well stealth, so... You're still standing in the middle of nowhere, so if anything, like, flew overhead, they would definitely see you, but you're not being heard. <laughs> Lucky I've got an axe for that. We kind of stand out on the white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got blonde luscious hair. We're as about as, as, as stealthy as non-stealth can be. Yeah. 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 All right. I'd like to go up and look in one of the windows. Right. <coughs> so you go up and you look. <laughs> it sounds like a bar. You look through this porthole here. It actually leads to the uh, the lower deck. You can see. That's not helping me eat it. Peering in through the hole, you can see what is making the noise. There is a large ice troll. Oh, um, rap sort rap of stomping rap. about, sort of, it's looking for looking for something. However, you can also see in the far uh, left corner, away from where you are, um, between you and the troll, is a very large pile of gold. But the gold is actually encased in ice. Can I see the egg? Um, <coughs> from this distance, no. Okay. If you want to make a perception check, just to let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, that bird's eye view, you know? Yeah. Um. Eight. Eight. Uh, no. You see no egg. <laughs> Can I check? Sure. So you... Dun, 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 you, you bump into me because you don't... You, know, you can't <laughs> see it. <laughs> That's a nice boulder. <laughs> what am I doing? Perception. Uh, well, what are you trying to do? Oh, you Seeing if I can... You see the egg? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, perception. You see yeah, the troll? Yeah, then I don't, don't see the egg. Okay, no egg. <laughs> I you see what? The troll, I'll go up and check egg. myself. <laughs> Troll's a bit hard to miss, but I don't see the egg. Yes. So, hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, it landed on a crease. We've got to reroll. Oh, 17. 17? Minus one. Minus 16. One. 16? All right. So you're peering and you're, like, and you're squinting your eye here. I think I see it. You can see like the, sh the distorted shape of an egg um, mm -hmm. frozen in the ice. Gotcha. So this, you see it. Yes, this must be where it is. I, I think it's there. And this would be where I regret having ice powers and not fire. You can also see um, from your position, there's like a massive hole in the middle deck. So you can just drop down from where you are. 
Or going through a window, if you want to go to the lower area. Mm. Let's climb up and see what's up top. Mm. Yeah, we can go around. Can I just jump through a window? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's through us. I have invisibility. So you just, you just want to you just want to acrobatic dive and just go ha ha. <laughs> yeah. All right. That, that's the net one for you. Okay. So you guys you guys are all being stealthy, stealthy, stealthy. I think I see the egg, and all of a sudden ah. Okay, give me acrobatic. I want to see whether or not you actually manage to make it through the window. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Cool. So breaking stealth, Elna. <laughs> Good job. Into darkness. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. I gotta... One of the things that I hate about this video is you can't scroll the uh, reveal fog of war. That's what we want. Thank you very much. Oop. All right. So that's what you guys see. So you flip through the window, <laughs> and then we Parkour. have. Um, do we follow Captain or? I don't think we have a choice. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's always, a, there's always choices in life. <laughs> I mean, he did give up a fellow crew member, by the way. The what, patrol, are, what are we to her? She also just alerted us. Not a crew. Yeah, exactly. Crew member. The troll, <laughs> the troll has his back back turned to you, and you flip through the window, and as you do, he goes, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> but you, um, but you will get a surprise round on the. <laughs> could you surprise the shit out of it? <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting. That. <laughs> I was like, "Oh!" So this little, this little gnome in a pirate hat, absent an uh, octopus. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, attacking him, I guess. Right, Let's. So uh, how are you should we hack him? Let me see. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? You cracked your elbow. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing uppercut. Prince Albert. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I. Yes. Yes. Okay. I did. Yes. I just want an Eldritch Blast. All right. Um. Pop up. Oh, shit. Uh, what's that? Eight. Thirteen. Uh, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> no, you missed with the first attack. Second shit. attack. Okay. Yeah, less again. Less again. Uh. Um, and do you want to use your bonus action to fire two more times? Oh yeah, sweet. You're Let's doing do great, it. sweetie. <laughs> nope. And uh, nineteen. Hey, well done. Okay. Yeah. So one d ten. Let's me d ten. Is that ten? Is the four a ten? Is that a d ten? That's, yes, that's a 10. Okay, sweet. Uh, so, yeah, 10. 10. All right. Uh, pl I think you've got... I um, know oh, you don't have that. You don't have Agonizing Blast. All right. Cool. So, you basically... You run up, finger guns. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. <laughs> and one of those hits. One of those hits. <laughs> hits the troll, pushing it back 10 feet into the wall <laughs> with the repelling blast. <laughs> And that's the surprise round. Everyone, roll for initiative. <laughs> uh, oh, so no. you, me? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here for the gold. Oh, oh fuck you. Oh, Ooh. advantage. <laughs> hey, someone. All right, um, Elna. For once. Um, rolled is that the only time, though? Five. Oh, Where yeah. is my... My oh, there we go. Ah, uh, so seven. <laughs> seven? Johnny. 23. Ooh. With that plus five initiative. Hmm. Brimstone. 13. 13. And Alira. 19. Nice. My initiative's gone up to plus And the troll rolled zero. <laughs> oh, God. So does he get a shot? <laughs> yeah, I, roll, I, I rolled a natural one and he has a minus one. Oh, so he rolled a zero. Uh, <laughs> all right, Johnny. I'll, um, put, I'll put you... Just outside. I'll put you guys all outside in the actual... Am I allowed to leave um, Dennis outside? Yeah. Because he... Oh, oh, he died. 
Um, Dennis disappeared. Because he, you know, he's a good boy, and I don't want to hurt him. Basic rule of. Oh, he has to come. No, basic rule of game: if you mm -hmm. have, if you have pet, mm -hmm. all right. Pet does not die or is in danger unless Pet engages in combat. Okay. If Pet just hangs around, he's will, not gonna get attacked. I will not target the pet. Oh, okay. Okay. So I just you... thought because he nearly got targeted by the Spellex, and I was gonna cry. No. If it yes, that was just me being a dick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's but yeah, you have to worry about it. your your pets are safe provided you don't use them to. Okay. Basically, if, if you want to use them to fight, then mm -hmm. they become fair game. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, Dennis can come then. I'm I'm gonna th throw my brand new dagger. Okay, so you gonna come in or are you just gonna? Yeah, I'll I'll jump in. Yeah, you jump in and you fling your new boomer dagger. Yeah. That is a nineteen plus eleven. That hits. Roll for damage. It's a thirty to hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh... That would have hit the Tarask. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Do I get sneak attack on that one? Um. Because I was hiding. You would have come out of stealth here. Yes, you would have. You would have got advantage on the attack as well. Let's see if I get the. the yeah, if you can go for the crit. Yeah. No. No. Alrighty. <coughs> so, seven. Eleven. Sixteen. Sixteen damage. Nice. Then I guess I catch it. Yes, and again. Coming Let's back. Go again. Go again. And uh, nineteen. Uh, yep. Yeah, hits. Uh, that's cocked. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Nice. Um. Then let's run up and punch him. Run and punch him. Right. Punch. No. Nope. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, let's turn across. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, that's it for you? Yeah. All right. Alira. That's a wee way of spelling your name. Alira. 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 A uh, fourteen. Yes. Yep. Uh, that is a nine minus one. That is an eight. I would just like chat to hear this. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, the dice <laughs> rolls. <laughs> they can hear it even without the microphone being close. Yeah. <laughs> that is a six, a six, a six. Eighteen. A four, a three, and a two. <laughs> and four, three, two. Uh, it's another Wait, six. And a five. So. 6, 12, 18, 24, 27, 32. 32, yeah. Nice. You did almost as much damage as it done to it. Yeah. <laughs> almost double damage. And then bonus action, I'll throw the sword at him. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Switch to actions. Nope. No. <laughs> that was a one. Oh! You come uh, back. Technically an eight. Okay, it still misses. Yeah. Uh, Brimstone. And can Robot Danny Jr. fit through the window? Uh, no, he cannot. <laughs> can he smash through the wall? Uh, give me an attack. He'll attempt to smash through the wall. Do I have. I don't think I've statue. Yes, I did. Well done. Thirteen to hit. No. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the ship. Yes. Yes. It will, that will roll with advantage. Sorry, but yes. Oh, with advantage. Okay. Because you're hitting a wall. There's nothing. All right. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. That was. I rolled two threes. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. The, you you hit the you hit the wall and that is rolled the damage for the wall. So I was rolling for the uh, the uh, the ice troll. Thirteen. 13 damage. All right, cool. So he, he punches it, and the, the wood splinters a little bit, but still is holding. All right, well, that wood is... He gets two attacks, yeah. does he? 
Was that these two attacks? Or no, that was just the one, one attack with advantage. So, oh, okay. second attack. Uh, well, that was 19 as my higher roll. That hits, so roll for damage. <coughs> Nine. Nine. So the second hit doesn't actually cause any additional damage. The, the boat's pretty weak, but the, the wood is the, the ice is the main issue. Uh, Brimstone. Um, I'm gonna get angry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you rage, your gloves glow, <laughs> allowing you to roll twice on your wild magic surge table and pick which one you want. Mm, might as well do that now. A six or a three. Three is the exploding flump, or a six is protective lights. We're gonna go six, so, okay. so protective you, lights protective gain lights. one AC, and while anyone's within ten feet of they me, they also get plus one AC. Yeah, nice. So I've done that. Yep. Then I'm gonna jump through the window. Jump through the window. Do a flip. Yep. And then um, <laughs> land on face. Yep. Give me acrobatics. Just yeah. For, just for the fun of it, or athletics. Preferably athletics. Yes. That is a twenty-seven. Yep. So use. <laughs> <laughs> Angry parkour. Yes, you know, then, you exactly. I'll run up and great axe it. You fling the axe off your back and Wah! down comes the axe. That is a what? Twenty-one. <laughs> that hits. Roll for damage. Hey, I like these gloves. That is a ten damage. Plus you're raging. Plus oh, plus two. Rage. Yeah. So 20, twelve damage. Twelve damage. Nice. Alrighty, second attack. Again. Oh yeah, I'll forget about that, sorry. You, you get to double hacha. No. That is a 11 to hit? Uh, no. Damn it. Unfortunately. And Alrighty. that's it. And Elna, back to you. Sweet. Um, I am going to also run up and use my green... Gr flame blade? Green, yes, flame blade. Right. Uh, so... <coughs> Actually, you don't even need to get that close. You can do it from there. So I rolled a fourteen. Do I add the plus nine for the scimitar? No, it's your it's your spell attack modifier, I believe, for green flame blade. Oh no, no, you do. Yeah, sorry. Yes, it's just your regular attack. So yeah. Sweet. All plus, right. Plus. Ah, so twenty three. Yeah, so twenty three that hits, and then it does. Uh, One. D, it it does whatever your weapon does plus d eight fire damage because of the level you're at. Uh, d eight. And. Metal 1 to 6 plus 5. Ah, get you out of there. A 6 plus 5, 11 plus 5, 16. 16, alright. And if you want to, you can use the gloves to cast Green Flame Blade a second time. Yeah. And actually attack a second time. Yes. <laughs> alright, okay. And uh, 19. Uh, that hits. Awesome. Uh, 8 plus 5. Is that 13 plus 5? 18? Yes. Another 18. And um, 6. 14. Alrighty. Well done. Um, 114. Troll is only just going now. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Troll has 115 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's so, profusely. and <laughs> and unfortunately, you've done fire damage to it, so it can't regenerate this turn. <laughs> 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 but you are all within 10 feet of it, so everyone uh, within that radius has to take 3d6 cold damage. If I'm like immune to cold, what does that? You're not immune. I'm not immune, resistance. sorry. Resistance. So you yeah, take half of this. Half. Okay, sweet. Okay, so it's seven cold damage for everyone who is not resistant to cold, and three for those that uh, are. Three. Sweet. Uh, and it makes three attacks, and there are three people nearby. How fortunate. Yay! <laughs> so, Share the love. <laughs> it's going to claw at the captain uh. for a four, 16 to hit. Uh, yes, but was it, what was it? You plus get a one. plus one to your AC. So, ha, one, you missed by one. 
So what's, what, so what's your AC now? 16. 16. Plus so, 17. So 17 now. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so. Yeah, quick <laughs> maths. <laughs> Pick the good one. He's sad now. <laughs> um, he's going to attempt to bite Brimstone uh, for a 15. No. And going to claw Johnny for a dirty 20. Yeah, that one hits. Okay. Uh, By um, one. Okay, so 2d6 plus 4. So 10 slashing damage and then 2d8 cold. Uh, ten cold. So twenty. Yeah. Um, and then if it takes any cold damage, you must succeed on a uh, Constitution saving throw. Uh, that is a dirty twenty. All right, you're fine. If you had to fail that, you would have had uh, disadvantage <coughs> on your attack rolls. Okay. Uh, and then it is back to you. Um, if I can stab him. Go for it. What's his AC? Uh, Hopefully. 16. Oh. Yeah, that hits. It hits? All right. I rolled a six. It hits. Uh, the troll takes as far as straight does not function at the start of the troll's next turn. All right, cool. So basically, you you have charge. It goes... Like you, it's, it's at that point where it should die. You don't yeah. need to apply fire damage to it. In order to actually finish it off, otherwise it'll continue to regenerate. So, because you know this about trolls, you fought yeah, them before. We fought one before. Yeah, you fought several of them. In fact, you fought the same one twice. Yeah, <laughs> and it nearly killed me. Yes. <laughs> what about acid? Acid will work as well. Yes. I, I'm, I've got a vial of acid. I'm throwing that. All right, down cool. at so, yeah, so you, you basically you stab it to the ground and it's, and it's like ah, I'm out. What a world. <laughs> <laughs> and then the troll dies. Ba, 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 ba. I would like to run and grab the egg. Okay, you. Oh, it's frozen. Yes, yeah. again. So you're, you're looking over here and you run, see. Bang. <laughs> yeah. So you 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 go you go to the icing. You. Yeah. <laughs> Sliding on the ice. Captain, can I borrow you by a sword? Climbs from the window now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming Robot Danny Junior just eventually smashed the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just big hole in the side of the wall. Sup. <laughs> well, can I punch the ice? Absolutely, you can punch the ice. Yeah. Right. So give me a moment here. So let me just read this bit. Sorry. Here. Give me a second. Okie dokie. So uh, this is area D9. So there's no real way to do D nuts with a Rage. nine. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> Rage. All right. Um, it contains heaps of snow. Uh, four tied down jolly boats covered in rhyme. Uh, in the forward starboard corner rests a large pile of treasure covered in ice. Standing next to the horde is um a troll. Yeah, what? dead. Oh, okay. Sorry. Standing next to the horde, frozen with its more wide open in a roar, is a white feline creature sheathed in ice. So what you see is like a um a lion um that has been looks like uh the dragon has used his ice breath on it. It's so like the ice is all sort of blown back on it. So this creature was in there and it just got smashed to crap. Um okay, so it's buried um, four. Th uh, there is four thick, translucent layers of ice protruding from the dragon's um, cold breath. Um, it is not the entire horde. It is merely a small portion uh, she chose to bring to this particular ship, apparently. So it's just a small. It's a mini horde, the side horde. I was gonna say for an ancient it's dragon, that seems pretty. Yes. Yeah, it's exactly. a side horde. It's, it's a side piece. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, Okay, characters um, can see under the treasure topmost layer of ice. Each layer takes one hour to get through with a miner's pick or similar tool, or twice as long using fire. Chipping and melting away each layer of ice frees up the treasure under the layer. Okay, so the... Um, it looks to be that the egg is actually on the second okay. layer. Okay. Two hours. Can I just like order Robert down and you need to start just punching the ice? Yeah, thing? like again, you can all work together well, to do that. Because I thought with my gauntlets I could do it quicker. Because you do double, double damage yeah. to structures, don't you? Okay, structures then cool. and objects. Yeah, so you'll yeah, so you'll be able to smash through that twice as, as quickly. So it'll take you an hour. Okay. You guys punch in the shit out of this get thing. Two layers. And you get to the, you get the two layers. The first layer um has uh 
72 gold pieces. 181 silver pieces. Um, 352 copper pieces. And two pearls worth 100 gold each. So 72 gold. Mm -hmm. How much silver? Uh, 181. I mean, if I was still silver. cursed, I'd be all mine. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, 352 copper. 352 C. And uh, two 100 gold piece pearls. So just add another 200 gold. Pearl. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second layer egg. has the egg. Yes, you get the egg back. That's all I care about. Elira's going to open the hole and say, just toss it in there. We'll figure it out later. I just want to get it and run. Uh, the characters that you also find, looking around, uh, nine tattered pieces of indigo fabric linen uh, worth 25 gold pieces, three pieces of quartz worth 50 gold pieces each, a single aqua marine cracked down the center, worth 250, a scrimshaw figure of an archer etched with magical script, um, if you want to do identify on it, you can. Mm -hmm. Basically, the uh, the figurine acts as a remove curse scroll. Okay. Um, we won't ever need that. Okay. <laughs> now that you've finished this um, layer here... Alira's just going to toss all of it into the hole to yeah. deal with later. No worries. You can see... Toss me too. Um, you can see the, the next two layers. Mm. Um, the layer below has um, even more gold, but there is also a glowing um, orb of light. Um, and mm. it is um, illuminating a very small chest about this big. I don't, know if I, wanna, chest. I don't know if I want to risk it. I kind of just want to get it and yeet yeah. out of it. And then below that, there is... Um, oh, you yeah, can I feel like we're risking the dragon coming in long yeah. we stay. Yeah. So you can see yeah, there's a, a bronze... Um, like a, a bronze bowl of some kind, a bunch of um, gems. It looks like a suit of um, incredibly bright armor. Um, and there is also... Uh, you can see what looks like a wand of some kind. This wand, like, you're sort of squinting at it and looking at it, and then after a while you sort of see, okay, so it, what it looks like is actually um, a skeleton. But when you look closer at it, you see that it's just a spine with a skull on top, and there's like a uh, flames glowing inside the eyes. Hmm. 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 Sounds pretty cool. Kind of, kind of but, sounds tempting. But, but I oh, think it sounds like something I don't want to touch. I want to get it and give it to you. <laughs> it would, yeah. but it would take another much... hour to dig that out. Yeah, I, as I as don't as know if like we... the look of all that gold. Perhaps we should leave before the dragon turns up. Yeah, yeah. You yeah might not notice let's, that let's the rest go. is gone. Yeah. Oh, the dragon will notice. But oh, uh... okay, well, thank you. <laughs> but we should. I, I think we should maybe skedaddle. Yeah, we let's should go. fuck off. Yeah, because right. I don't know how to. I don't really think the seducing the dragon will work, if no. I'm being honest. <laughs> no. No. Alrighty, so yeah. you... It rarely does. No. Yeah. I feel like we're being smart here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. It's, a, it's an oddity. I'm surprised. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pirates running away from treasure. From treasure. <laughs> Us running away from, from treasure. treasure. What? How did we have to get the whale back? Whale what? dude! <laughs> yeah, so you... You get to the edge and you hear Elna go, Whale, uh, she says, Whale, do you guys hear? Yeah, I think my talk with animals is wrong. Right. Yeah, then, you, then probably it's like, yeah. Can you please take us back now? Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> as quickly as possible, quick eyes get in. <laughs> okay. <Jump. laughs> in we go. Uh, well, <laughs> we all sink. <laughs> All right. Robot Danny Jr. was too heavy. We don't have Dennis <laughs> on there, but I'm going to need a reminder of what exactly we just got out of all of that. Oh, I think I lost Dennis oh, in the... He's yeah. in, I, I can get He'll him back. He'll be somewhere. He's, he's somewhere, following. yes. Yeah. He's in the void. He's in the space between space. Yes. Ah. <laughs> all righty. He wrote down. Okay. I, I wrote down some of it. Oh, no. I deleted it. Oh, well, cheers, he, cheers, mate. I had it. Cheers, mate. Good job. Ah. <laughs> um, I'm going the whole inventory. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't say that. 
I was gonna say you have a big hole, but like no. Yeah, there's a twenty percent chance that it returns to the ship. Oh, let's just see what happens. And a meat then. box, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, cool. So no dragon. No dragon. Whew. Huzzah! Thank God. Yeah. It says yeah. So basically, like if you're there for more than an hour. <laughs> okay, so um, we're smart. So for, for every hour that you're there, I have to roll a dice. Uh, and if okay. I roll a natural one on a on a on a d20, she shows up. Uh, <laughs> so. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. The, the chance of her actually showing up is, no, is pretty no. limited, but yeah, uh, too late now. Yep, no, that's uh, fair. It was a thing here. A little thing is that you're about to leave this area and you'll never be able to return. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Let's fuck off. <laughs> All right, well done. I'm you sure ha- whatever was in the ice was actually really good, but so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll let, I'll let you know right now. And you guys can just just for the sake of it, because again, you can't come back. Make us weep. Because the whale won't let you. Yeah. So. <laughs> what if I summoned a million Octavio? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so in the rest of the horde, there was um, a drift go- a drift globe. Um, the tiny chest did actually contain the deck of many things. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, basically, another one thousand gold worth of um, of treasure in terms of gold and uh, uh, objects. The final layer is a suit of mithril chainmail. Oh. Um, I don't think any of us, can any of us wear it. I don't think any of you guys can wear no. it. No, it's actually no, but that would have been but a money. lot of money. Yeah, to yeah sell. mithril. But yeah, basically, it's Thin it's um, <laughs> it's it's a, a mithril chain shirt or breastplate. So it's a chain shirt. Um, and you just don't get advantage on dexterity checks mm. when wearing it. This the, the kind of armor you really want is elven chain because that doesn't count as it's cha- it's chain mail that doesn't count as. No, I'm good with my mm. Um, can you put uh, armor on Carl? You've already got armor on Carl. He doesn't die. Oh no, not Carl. Uh, yeah, you. Can, sorry, no. You, I mean, you technically could, but it doesn't really give him any benefits. Yeah. He doesn't sorry. die. <laughs> um, yes, his his whole skin is armor. So. We just saw it back up. Yeah. Um, the the wand. Um, if you get close enough to it, it's actually the wand of Orcus. I don't know what that is. So the wand of Orcus is um, a legendary magic wand. Um, by like a uh, a demon god of death. Ah! It allows you to summon like one thousand points worth, one thousand hit it's points right. worth of undead to fight at your side. Fair enough. <laughs> so it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so you can you can literally just summon an entire undead army mm. if you want. I mean, that would have been cool, but like. Survival? If we survive. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. If we live. Exactly, exactly. All right. So you guys are traveling back. Um, someone roll me a d12, if you would, please. I did last time. That's eight. That's nothing. <laughs> d12? Uh, seven. Seven? Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. So your trip back is uneventful. Yay. You do see some rather bizarre-looking tentacled creatures that don't really conf- hey, <laughs> that don't really conform to like, the shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically society's norms. Like yeah. the, sh- the shape of octopi or anything like that. They're more like a whale with tentacles rather than. I like that. Um, Captain, get back. Cthulhu. I want one. Yes, you, <laughs> you sort of see them off in the, off in the distance, and you like them, but the whale's like. Oh. <laughs> like, no, thank you. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> They're the people we swim past like this. <laughs> I'll just have my Lock face. Your windows, up. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> roll them up. Roll them up. Roll them up. <laughs> the, the shield just goes completely solid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lock and you make it back to the bell. Ooh. I think so. I know it's not my butthole. Oh, what did you just say? <laughs> Untense butthole. I <laughs> <laughs> said tense my butthole. No, 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 no. I wasn't trying to be creepy there. <laughs> or were you? <laughs> no, I really, I really wasn't for once. Uh. <laughs> All right, so, um, and your drop shots goes, well, that's it for me, unless you want to go anywhere else. Any, any, uh, requests for where you want to go i just want to Fanny say crew. thank you but in that well language i'm like he means thank you yes, <laughs> oh, he has a horrible accent <laughs> you have a terrible accent i'm dwarvish <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, do we know oh, of any okay. particular islands nearby? <laughs> um, you know of the prison. You know of Ripple's <laughs> Edge. <laughs> Nah. Don't think so. It's a little bit just down the coast that way. So. <laughs> Any be, recommendations? Been there, been there done that. Mm, there is the uh, the castle of Oral, the god of uh, god of winter. There's a castle nearby. That's kind of tempting. Can I be king of the castle? Mm, yes. The castle, yes. King of the castle. <laughs> what shape is the castle? It's a big, uh, big skull with spikes on it. That's well, it's, it's not the prison. Big skull. With wait what? With spikes. With spikes on it. Let me Ooh. let me show. Oh, I'll find you. Um, he'll he'll project a an M- image minor in, illusion. <laughs> a, 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 an image into your into your head, so you can see what this place looks like. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Ah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Uh, does, Ooh. Any, does anyone live there? Yes, um, so I, I do now. The God of Ice. He's just very unfriendly. He makes everything cold. Oh. I mean, I don't mind maybe, cold. Maybe he maybe just needs a hug. Yeah, mm. maybe we could give him a kiss. <gasps> he might want a kiss. No, no, no. She's been rather Eat angry recently I because the last, <laughs> the last time that she was... Uh, she was recently keeping the entire the entire of Icewind Dale in pitch black darkness and then some adventurers kicked the shit out of her. So she's a little bit upset about that recently. Uh, oh. What did the whale say? <laughs> shit. Um... <laughs> What did Wales say? Um, the <laughs> uh, there's a god of cold. <laughs> okay, Shit! Tell me more. Is it hot? I think we uh, oh, beat the crap out, beat the crap out of her at some point. Apparently, who did? We did. No, some other adventure. Oh, did. <laughs> okay. Not you. Some other adventure. What's going on? I thought you were... Uh, yeah, she just said some adventurers recently were in Icewind Dale and then kicked the shit out of her mm. which, to remove, I thought the, it was what... remove the eternal the eternal night, which is why mm. there's actually sunlight in Icewind Dale. Um, that was the... Like, Icewind Dale has only recently become accessible to the outside world because mm. um, it was like an eternal winter, even more so, um, but that has recently Was been... that... It was, uh, no, I can't talk to him anymore. Is that the only place that the whale says is about? I can check. Is there anywhere else we can? In the uh, sea of moving ice, no, unfortunately. That's it. That uh, is it. I mean, um, I do want to see God. Yeah, I'd, same. I, that, you're welcome. that actually sounds like an interesting <laughs> encounter. But uh, if you're saying that she's whoever it is is uh, upset, unhappy. Maybe. I mean, unlike uh, unlike the unlike the dragon, she's always there. Uh, guaranteed to be there, apparently. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe we, just needs a hug could, or something. Well, yeah, Tempting. we could try and I befriend. I would not mind uh, meeting a god. Let's Shall meet, we? Let's meet god. So uh, as maybe, you are... maybe we should go back to the town first. Or not. I mean, the ghost dude's probably around mm. right now and she's pretending not to be here. Yeah, are you here, Mr... What's your name? Do you want your damn egg? No response. Hmm. Okay, what, well, what my you, egg then. What you guys do here, however... Oh. While you're having this conversation, you start you start hearing like a really high pitched squeal. Dennis is going nuts. Yeah, yes, actually, the dog is like you, the dog starts reacting to something first before the acts of warning. Well, before, before you before you actually hear something, and then just like, and then the, you hear the the axe go. Ugh. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go in the hut. I'm just just. Um. And the whale goes, well, I'll, I'll be here if you need me. Just ring if you need anything. And here you will dive back under the water. And then you hear um, the... And this, the high-pitched noise starts getting louder than you hear. Maybe we shouldn't be here. Like, the sound of like a massive explosion. And there is a black streak that just... Over the, the top of where what? you all are. Uh-huh. And then, you, then you hear the... And it sort of gets quieter. It goes, Maybe we should investigate that. Then, That's the second time it's done whatever that is. Oh, done. I, I don't want to. You start hearing the whistling noise. I would like to run to the hut. Louder. So you can, can run I to the summon hut. our dragon? <laughs> I would like to hide under the water. As this is all going on. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Oh, I don't. That, that looks. Approaching 
It's like it's like a fighter jet. I love it really how dragon yeah. is. So approaching from from this side, circling back around, you hear the and then you see this, this black streak going, and then it slows down and. Um, what the? You see this thing. Captain, maybe Brimstone. it's time to summon the dragon. Brimstone is floating, ah, run, run into the hut. <laughs> and you, and then you time. then you hear. And then this thing just shoots off. And it came back. <laughs> Toodles. Um, is it gone yet? I'm recalling the dragon as we speak. Ooh, I yeah. don't want to fly with that up there. Well, I mean, it's better than being down here defenseless. I mean, the dragon does have a, you know, cannon on it. It does have a... Yeah. Yeah, but this one... Okay. That one's just fast. I mean, to be fair... Or do we get in the whale and go to the skull? To be fair, it didn't attack us. True. And if we go underwater, that might be better. Hmm. I vote God. I vote God, too. Yeah, Winston's I'm, shitting I'm, himself. He doesn't know. <laughs> I am inclined to agree with the God, but also, like, I don't particularly want Ghost Guy turning up and punching me in my sleep. It'll just be me, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I have a tendency to get punched. We'd have to make another payment to the whale, though. Should we take as much as we can from the whale? I mean, has it been a full day? Oct Octavio! It's been most of the day, yeah. It's sort, of, yeah. it's sort of getting closer to the evening. The travel was quite a while, getting there and back. Ah. Um, Perhaps we should just, just stay in the cabin for the night, then. So you, can still, you can still hear the whistling. This thing isn't... It's just circling. It's like ah. it's circling. Um, we it's going go. after our dragon. And then oh. shortly after, because you you already summoned the dragon, yes? Yes, all right. Mm. Mm. Your dragon, dragon. <laughs> approaches. All right, beam me up. <laughs> you summon the dragon mm. towards you. Um... So what do you? So what is your plan? Are you going to spend the night in the in the cabin? Uh, are you going to just mount on the dragon and head back to town? What is it you should want to do? We, uh, should we just go back to town then? Go back to town and get this the egg villagers. Yeah, let's get this, <laughs> let's get this over and done with, and then we can come back and visit that god because that sounds like an interesting yes thing to do. All right. Okay. That sounds like a fun story hook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I like no. you got a platform there. <laughs> well, it's just the base. I need oh. to. I need to actually. Well, I got to set this up as a sticky. Hang on. Sticky. Sticky. If an item sticky, it means that when you pick it up and move it, other items move hey. with it. Nah. Um, the trouble is that the, the that you can't actually the place them on the nah. the body. What what I need to do is actually build a small hit box and put it mm. mount it inside it so you guys can actually stand on the back of it. But you guys all. <laughs> so I mean we can fly it hands free with the crown. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Tesla. <laughs> so you guys head off into the sky. Well that camp is a long rest too since it's a day and a half. Um you would have had time for a long rest inside the dragon. Okay. Ooh, inside, inside not the dragon, Ooh, inside, inside the, the um, inside the whale, I should say. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> inside the whale. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, um. <laughs> God. Illyra's just gonna sell all of the gemstones and stuff when we get back to town, so we can just Ooh, divide pretty. the gold up. That's uh -oh. if we're getting back to town. Why? Well, yeah. Well, I don't like the fact that there's just there's a, still you don't like the fact that there's a map for the flying part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 As you guys are flying, you start. You keep hearing that. Dragon. You it's a lot it. smaller. Yes, you shut your face. I had to say it. Yeah. Hey now. That's not fair. So, as you are flying along, just you start so hearing the, that whistling coming up from behind you, and it's just um, pulling up directly behind you. You see this black 
monstrosity, this sleek construct. Can we shoot out of our ass? Uh, you can't. <laughs> can we oh. fart? <laughs> you can shoot. You can cast spells if you wish to. Um, and it's going to. This is where we do a flip. It pulls. Top gunner. <laughs> yeah, it pulls. Yeah. It pulls up. It pulls up beside you, and then while you guys are, are sitting there, it actually does do the the flip over the top <laughs> of you. Uh, it hasn't. It hasn't attacked yet, though. Captain. It's very sus, though. I'm, I'm concerned, <laughs> but we've not been attacked. Captain. Should we attack what first? <laughs> Can I, can I just oh, wave? What's like, your name? Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ezekiel. Fuck you, Ezekiel. <laughs> is it possible to point at the, what I'm assuming is the cockpit and and, and whisper with uh, with message? Uh, sure. Yeah. If you want to use message, absolutely. Yeah. It's just like, who are you? Um, no what is the, can you, can you read me the, the, the specifics of message, please? Uh, it says you point your finger towards a creature within range, which is 120 feet and whisper a message. The target and only the target hears the message and can reply in a whisper that only I can hear. You can cast a spell through solid objects if you're familiar with the target pair. Right. Yeah. So the, the glass is, um, it, it's not, it's not, it's solid, but it's mirrored. Oh, okay. So you can't actually see that there's anyone inside yeah. of it. So it, it, what, it, basically what you're seeing She's is, is a construct which what looks like it has a single cycloptic eye. I'm just going to just like... Hi! <laughs> we just all wave like, hi! <laughs> you see, um, as you as you were all waving, the canopy goes from uh, opaque to translucent. <laughs> and you can see inside what looks like Robot Danny Jr. Um, um, okay. um but you're, Do you but have you're another here. one? I don't have another one. So it's, a, it's similar in design, but... Can I now cast message? Smaller. You can definitely cast message, absolutely. Uh, hello, we're, we're friendly. What What's your purpose? You get a message back. Patrol. Unidentified aircraft. You are in... Sorry. <laughs> Unidentified aircraft. You are in Yithran airspace. State your purpose. Travel. Uh, do I have to cast message again? You do. Yes. Uh, message is a cantrip. God, it's a cantrip. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we're we're just traveling. State your destination. Which town are we going to again? Uh, Bryn Shanda was where you were. Uh, Bryn Shanda? Location unknown. Uh, those towns in that, you know, the, the ten towns in that area over that way? <laughs> the human towns. We just see you not saying anything, just like... Yeah, you're sort of whispering <laughs> and, and wiggling, <laughs> wiggling your fingers about. Uh... You, you can see, like, the construct is sort of, like, turning its head at you, and then it's lo looking down, and you goes, hmm... Illegal settlements detected. Oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Guys, I may have just fucked up. What, what'd you do? What did you do? Is it is gonna you, kill is, us? Are you from the, the ones that were a part of the made the tower? Pardon? Are they the same people that made the tower? The the exterior design of this vehicle looks very similar to like the interior interior patterning. There are certain design aesthetics that you are recognizing. Yes. Okay. Is, is um, it gonna kill us? No. Oh. Okay. Just just mm, give me a sec. Oh. Okay. Um. Are, are you aware that the civilization you served is gone in this area? Statement not recognized. I'm still here just waving. <laughs> it will say it, it will say to you uh, at this point. Please fall in. Do not attempt to deviate. Follow me. Okay. Uh, yeah, Captain. Follow the ship. Uh, <laughs> okay. Follow the ship. If you say fuck. so. <laughs> so we don't fuck everything up. All right. Captain Blaster. 
No, mm. don't blast it. So it's, moved, it's moved into a good firing position, if you it wish It really to. is. That's what I'm going to Fire the laser. So, it's, uh, so, so it's, it, it banks to, to the right, and it begins to... I'm just uh, going to explain pull to everyone slightly. that it's from the same civilization that we found for the, that owned the spire that we found. Oh, uh, okay. So following it might be quite profitable. Just saying, in death, yes. Profits, you say? Death. If profits. it's from the same civilization that was so advanced to make that spire, perhaps there's more uh, constructs that make gold and the like. Could I was be the leading in us. that construct. Yeah, we could. Could be leading us to. I just want to point more. to my peg leg. Eh. You did that to yourself. No, Captain did that to me. <laughs> Sorry. I want to point out that was lava. This is potentially a lot of. Uh, I profit. only have one leg left. <laughs> yes. Mate, I'm not that, giving that an arm be... and a leg, just a leg. I'm not asking you to give a leg. I'm asking you to follow the construct that may lead us to more treasure. Captain, shoot. Hmm. If you shoot it, we will make an enemy of its entire civilization, and we don't want more of those after us. Do you Can really we follow it to a point, <laughs> and then I'll 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 decide whether Can we. Can I try and persuade the captain? <laughs> You are. You can't use rolls to attempt to. <laughs> <laughs> rolls don't work to influence player characters, I'm sorry to say. You, it doesn't work like mind Crossing control. Crossing my hand. Sounds like assault, yeah. in a way. Yeah, so, so it's it's, it's one of those things that people, like, say, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to convince you with a roll to do something. It's like, no, you're not. That's not how it yeah. works. That's what role play is for. <laughs> Look, I'll just say this, Captain. I'm just going to ready myself to fire. Okay, just don't be prepared. Got the finger Defenses. hovering over the... Uh, Passive defense. No one knock me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to say there's potential to perhaps find more robot downy juniors. We can have one each. Maybe. Exactly. Will you share, Ooh. though? Bard? My amulet only goes to robot downy junior. If you find more amulets, But will you yours. share, Bard? I've, I've seen you one. in that <laughs> hole. I love that, I love that one. <laughs> there was another B word. I'm fairly certain it was about to be fast. <laughs> hey, I'm not Bard. the one who's been claiming every single bit of treasure that we find, am I? I had a sickness. <laughs> I have cured you of said sickness. It has not stopped that. Sure. I am who um, I am. Eventually it begins to dip. We're following. Yeah. You drop below the cloud you cover. <laughs> what? After a little while, you're not quite sure where you are or how um, this has quite happened, but you've only been traveling for like a few minutes. However, when you drop below, drop through the clouds and you come out the other side, you thinking to yourself, have we turned around? What, what the fuck is going on? Because the sun is coming up. Ah. Uh, what? Do you want to follow? We're here now. I'm confused, concerned. I don't think we're in Kansas just, anymore. Just, <laughs> just confused and concerned. <laughs> okay. Could have sworn it's only been minutes. Hmm. It's only been an argument. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been arguing that long. I mean, this is just as interesting as going to to meet a god. And the dragon pulls out to the side <laughs> again, and it um, sends a message to you. And you all actually hear it this time. Oh, this okay. is actually like a, a wide band broadcast. <laughs> yes. We get FM. Yes. <laughs> so, do not deviate. Yeah, the, uh, the landing structure is say so the landing path is quite complex. Follow close and it will move on in. Okay, Mr. Object. And you see <laughs> it is actually diving straight towards uh, a massive mountain of ice. And it's just picking up speed, picking up speed, picking up speed. Um, Captain, Illyria's uh, <laughs> just like grabbing onto. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm readying that button. 
I, I'm going to drink a potion of force resistance because this is going <laughs> <laughs> um, And man. as it as it gets right up close to this um, right up close to the uh, the uh, the glacier, it begins to spin, and then you hear, and then you hear this massive beam of energy fires out of both of the uh, extended wands on its wing, and it spins and spins and spins and spins, and, spins and you see you start seeing the ice begin to fly away, and you just follow it through this tunnel that it's burrowing as it's going through. Are we glad we didn't attack now? <coughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can still fly, <laughs> Captain. And mm -hmm. after a few moments, you emerge into a massive open area. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a second. Where is it? It's... So I was just like, okay, this is weird. It's got it's got all the interior maps that I built, but it doesn't have the exterior. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell. I'm looking for Acropolis. I spelled it Necropolis. That's what, <laughs> that's I knew I knew it was something weird, and I couldn't remember what I fucking called it. There it is. Alright, awesome. Ah. <laughs> um Okay. Captain? So um... you smash through now. This is gonna be a bit weird because these are all out of scale. Honestly, no, no, that's actually no, no, it's not because you're really small. We have to use you as the scale. <laughs> Captain, yes, <laughs> where are we? I won't go home now. A uh, good question. So, you pull up and you see, I have no idea. Over, um, you are in a massive underground cavern, and all around you is what looks like a massive abandoned city you recognize the design almost instantaneously it looks exactly the same as the structure that you found the broken off spire you hmm. can see the necropolis here and the dragon flies and it maneuvers itself over to this particular spire over here you attempt to control your dragon. As you do, there is like a massive thud and you feel the your dragon being pulled into a specific position. Like it's been um, tracted into... Tractor beam. Tractor beam into a spot. Captain. As you do, the dragon pops itself over here and... A landing platform extends and the dragon mounts itself to the side. Looking around, you can actually see that there are several of these vehicles attached to different spires. And as you are pulled into position, you are maneuvered and you are you are dropped onto late. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're you're here. Hello, now. hello. So as you, as like this, this you hear like this big clunk, and you call out hello, hello, and there's silence. Just captain, you can go at first, right? Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of glad that it's silent. You know, yeah. I, I got a disability. I, I can't. <laughs> you hobble. A small tower extend. Uh, sorry, sorry. A small platform extends out to the the thing, and it allows you to. All right. Walk off. Let's explore. Let, let the game. <laughs> Is there anywhere in particular that looks interesting? Uh, what well, looks interesting? Everything looks. Uh, interesting. I want to touch. Everything me. looks scary. So as you you walk, there is a small door in the tower. Um, you go inside and you see another one of the constructs, another robot, Danny Junior. It stands there and it looks at you all and says. Please follow the red line to... Emergency. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. Please follow the red line to processing. I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. And Lyra just takes off her phone with the red line. Okay. Um, the red line leads you to an area that looks like a chasm. There's like a, a small hole 
in bit there that looks like a uh, like a, a glass booth with a hole in it. And as you approach, a small disc appears out there, and the glass slides away, and then the circle is encased in a red ring. Um, um, Alira's going to stop right in front of him and be like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. I'll jump on. Okay, you step on, and it's... You are incinerated. It's incinerated. incinerated. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, wa- it's just waiting for you, basically. It's waiting for everyone else. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. We'll step on then now. now I'm, not dead. I'm not dead. I step on hesitantly. Like, yeah, first, same. Like, <laughs> so as you, like, as, you, as you step on, you're like, it has a little bit of give, but oh. yeah, it also it supports all of you. And then as you step on, it go it, the the tube over the top. Uh-oh. And Getting claustrophobic. Then, <laughs> you, you feel yourself... You see yourself moving incredibly quick, but you don't feel the gravity of the movement. Hmm. So there's like no acceleration. You're just moving incredibly quickly straight down. And, and you don't feel like music. you're falling, but you can see that you're moving very, very fast <laughs> down. Literally just like... Yeah, and then you see... You see like the floors, the floors, the floors. Uh, and then you... Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you slow down and then... Does anyone know how far down we just went? And the red light Very far. I, I counted at least three levels. <laughs> we on the other side. And as you follow we are, path, we are these. small. Yes, this, just so you know, is a 100% to scale map. Oh. So this is how oh, small you are in comparison Ooh. to this city. This is the size of it. Oh. Where are we? Sorry, just finding everyone. I think I lost everybody, if I'm perfectly honest. We've got the flying rapier and two pe- and three people. I don't have anyone else. Uh-oh. One moment. Ah, uh, no, those are different people. Uh, why didn't they respond? <laughs> ah, there you are. Who fell off? You can see the squares. Yes. I Dust. Feel, I fell up. We won't walk about. Yeah. We're like, oh, pretty. We fell, we fell off. <laughs> yes, you fell off the dragon. Right. Where's Dennis? He's in my backpack. Yes, Dennis is in the backpack. Yeah. So you guys all extend out, and the red lights extend into this building. Mm, follow the line. Okay. You follow the line. You started that. Zarya Y seven. <laughs> because I built this map as large as it is, rather than actually having to use the map, I just marked the different locations for the map oh, yeah. points. So I can actually just look them up as we go. Y five. Yeah. Okay. You see where the red line leads, and there is a portcullis, and it is slightly askew. It's 40 foot wide, and then there is a 30 foot tall archway. It serves as the only entrance into this building. Um, as you walk inside, you find yourselves in a building that is completely abandoned. But there is a, a single desk sitting in the front of a set of um, spiral uh, like a spiral staircase leading up. Um, and as you look around, you can see that this is a prison. There are just set, look like abandoned cells. Um, Something tells me these constructs don't realize their civilization is dead. Mm. I don't want to be the one that tells them that. And as you are looking at all this, you hear... And you hear... The massive echoing of the dragon flying off. It was their dragon. Mm. Now, um, so like. So let me just do this. Icewind Dale in progress. Right. But like, if there's no one here for processing, does that mean we have free reign of the city? I mean, if there's no one here. Oh, well, I don't want to risk it. So, <laughs> you can see, the stairs. so as you, you, you slide up the stairs and as you do, <laughs> we were <laughs> tiny. Yes. I'd like, 
I'd like to investigate the desk just to see what's around. Make a joint. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Get off. Piggyback. <laughs> Holding on to his leg. <laughs> Put the desk in. <laughs> a small desk. Your size desk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you see this desk. When you look at it, it is made of a black, shiny material. And there's a whole bunch of what look like gems scattered all over it. Can I investigate? Yeah, can I try and take one of the gems? <laughs> um, how would you like to do that? Knife. Knife. Just... So you take your knife and you try and get it. And you, you try to, but there's no, no way to put the, the the knife into the gap. Can I press one? one of the buttons. You tap one of the gems and it just goes, just clicks. There's nothing in there. Looking around you, you can see these energy columns, and there are skeletons inside. Mm. Hmm. Would any type of investigation of the desk help, or the gems help? You can give it a shot. I'll give it a go. I'd like to give a hand there. Mm -hmm. Give it later. Um, <laughs> 25 investigation. 25 investigation, okay. Um, looking at this thing, you think that you can see, like... From it, it's not illuminated in some way. You think this might be some sort of magical device, but there doesn't appear to be any magic running through it. Your detect magic ability is actually showing that there is no magic um, in this console. Um, however, the uh, the energy cells are magic. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like to go upstairs. Okay. I'm gonna follow. Um, yeah. You keep continuing up, and you see the same thing over and over again. Just oh, no. row, 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 and this goes up for at least um, nine floors. Up we go. Um, and eventually, you get <laughs> to the top. At the top of the stairs. So, as you get to the top, lock you desk. Um, you see what looks like some sort of laboratory. Um, all of the, the places covered in like shelves that are all empty. There's like lots of, um, all over the ground, you can just see glass shattered everywhere. I don't mm. care what you're unable to hide. They're not hiding anything. <laughs> um, and you can see on this very strange table um labeled strange table <laughs> a series of arms which at the tips have got bizarre devices one has a claw one looks like a saw blade another one has a needle and you can see strapped down is an elongated faceless individual gray skinned That's scary mm. captain is this an alien uh go touch it it's sticky. I'll go touch it. Okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious those constructs kind of arrested us, but there's nothing they can do if there's no one here to arrest us. Mm. 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 Also, you... I feel like they were torturing uh, prisoners here. Well, Looks I mean, fun. What's, what's prison without a bit of torture? Yeah. Does it still work? <laughs> uh. <a> button. <laughs> um, you can see actually at the very edge of the the table where the legs of this creature are. There are a, a series of runes and gems that you don't recognize. These look like they would probably control this device. Can I press something? Um, if you want to try and press something, absolutely. I can always press something. <laughs> but did, did you want to touch the the creature first? What else? The, I'll that, touch the creature. Okay. I'll hold its hand. So you you Stroke reach it. you reach out and you you touch the creature's hand. Surprisingly, it's not cold. It is warm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Right. This whole place, <laughs> this whole place is like covered in ice and buried inside of um, the the Reghead Glacier. Um, but this creature still appears warm. Uh, guys, mm, it's not breathing from what you can <laughs> Should tell. Should feel this. I'm just gonna keep poking it. I'm not I'm, gonna feel that. I'm gonna come up and stab it. I want to <laughs> just like. Can I in slowly poke it with the <laughs> dagger and just keep going in? 
Can this I do an insight thing first to see if I know what it is? Brimstone's going to throw up. So Brimstone will throw up down the stairs. Um, they are now difficult to terrain. <laughs> Johnny attempts, it goes up and just stabs into this creature. Your blade just goes in without his issues. Can I do an insight to see if I know what this creature might possibly be? Um, Give me nature. Nature, okay. Nature or Arcana, actually, both of those would work. Well, they're both the same anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, 16? 16. 16. Um, you would know this type of creature. You've heard of them before. This is a doppelganger. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Excuse my metagaming. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. The doppelgangers uh, are creatures that... Um, I'm can... guessing well-known. Yes, they're, they're pretty well-known, yes. So they... we would know it, or...? Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's a doppelganger. What what's a good doppelganger? Um, basically it's a shapeshifter. It can uh, hmm. become you and steal your life. Fuck. Um, yeah, tele telepathic shapeshifters. They can. Yes. Oh. They can. They can. They can read someone's mind and then they can um, completely change their everything. appearance to look exactly like that person. I'm gonna start stabbing its face a lot. Okay. <laughs> you stab, 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 stab. Um. I'm more concerned that it's still warm despite being yeah, clearly so as, uh, like as, as, you're, as you're stabbing, uh, there is no blood coming out. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. There should be blood. There should be blood. There should be blood. Um, Johnny, Johnny, stop stabbing. Johnny, Johnny I, 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 I don't think you're having much effect. He's still stabbing through it, like he's making holes. Yeah. There's just no bleeding happening. Why isn't it bleeding? Why isn't it bleeding? Hey, I have a crowbar. I'm just going to get my crowbar out and <laughs> take its knees out. <laughs> I'm going to start throwing up more. <laughs> yeah. Illyra's just going to pull a sword out and take its head off. Okay, head comes off. Happy now? Yeah. Not really. No. It's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> no, it's kind of... <laughs> ah. um, I will investigate the, the console while they're stabby. Okay. Stabby, rip, you, stab, stab. You look at the console. There are, uh, there is a a small black, um, like a almost looks like a mirror, like a large black Oops. mirror, um, and there are a series of of different controls on it, of different um, gems on it. There is a glowing green gem that is blinking. Uh, guys, back off a sec. I'll take back it. off. Yeah. <laughs> Couple steps poke. back. You poke the green gem. As soon as you do that, the blood in this creature just. <laughs> 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 Alura just like jumps yes. back, like wipe my uh, uh, eyes. And... Are you guys happy now? Uh, Quite satisfied, satisfied thank you. <laughs> Why am I slightly turned on? Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Can you guys stop doing that, please? <laughs> I, 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 I think it's dead now. I, I, I would agree. Else growing, or is that the only thing that was? Um, you see that there is. Uh, as, as soon as you push that button there, the um the display, uh, the little black mirror, lights up. There's a whole bunch of little um bits in there, and you just see the thing. It goes. Beep. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> Oh. Um, I'm a okay. little bit concerned that there was a doppelganger here, and I think they may have been experimenting on it, but now that it's dead, I don't think it matters. What if there are others? Should we go exploring the city or what? Yes. Yes, let's explore. <laughs> Anything but you. <laughs> right, let's... Um, is the console downstairs lit up now? Um, you don't sense? No, it is not. Okay. Straight out the building then. Let's leave. We got processed yeah so now that i've fixed this thing i'm actually going to save it so that if i want to use it again it actually has the correct uh ice wind day or this one turned into a doppelganger for a while yeah you didn't you didn't yeah well yes yeah, so <laughs> there was a a situation where she was given false memories to make her think that she was a doppelganger and given the abilities of a doppelganger but she really wasn't a <laughs> doppelganger <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fucked up. it was a bit fucked up. Yes, it was a it was a um it was a triple it was a um a, a triple cross mind game. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you just people wonder why Nero went insane. Mm. You're just having a trip. <laughs> All right. So, we have established this area. Is it that one? No, hang on. <laughs> Fuck off, Siri. This okay. one. This area is the prison. Right, well. That was fun. Where to next? So, you can see over to your right, there is a large domed structure. Um, purple glass. The glass is all cracked. Um, to the left, there are a bunch of buildings and a smaller tower. Is there anywhere that looks like it might be, like, really important? Um, if you look around, you saw this as you're on your, on your way through. This big fucking building in the middle. With the sun. Um, and underneath it, you can actually see what looks like a miniature sun. Hmm. Should we go investigate that? I mean, it looks big like shiny. the sun. Yeah, but like the building above it is probably the most important in the city, considering it's above said sun. It is also in the middle. Let's go. We mm. could look at the dome on the way. Yeah, the dome. Mm. Smudge our faces up to the glass. <laughs> All Just right. Just tap on the glass. <laughs> so you go for a walk. You see this this dome has got massive structures all around it. There are a series of... Um, uh, from the side that you're approaching from, you can actually see there is a... What looks like a, a tunnel that sort of leads down. And then you imagine it would sort of come back up on the inside. Mm. Um, but looking at it from where you are, what it looks like is an interior jungle. Hmm. So, looking inside, you can see that there is a, a whole bunch of trees. You can see birds flying about on the inside. There is um, a lake. Inside actually looks kind of warm and temperate, almost more like a jungle environment. Hmm. Interesting. Nice. Can we go to the central town? To the sun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, I feel like if somebody here, if there's anybody here Somebody's that's actually... Here in charge they're probably in there they're they're in the sun i would expect them to be more in the tower above the sun <laughs> in the sun in the sun <laughs> I, am the sun. I am the sun the sun the sun as you get close it's interesting you see this thing and it looks like a sun but it's not hot you don't feel the warmth captain and can i touch it you approach this thing you can do whatever you like <laughs> go for it touch the button <laughs> I touched the butt. Oh, no. um, you see, so beneath the great spire, a luminous 50-foot diameter crystal sphere rests in an ornate stand. You see a bunch of glowing orbs circling around it. I Should I eldritch blast my leg and hop over <laughs> and we're... You know I have a 10-foot pole. Oh, let's use that then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hop back on Okay. <laughs> Just telescope the pole. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me see what happens. Touching it. Okay. Um, touching with the Everything oh. explodes. We yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. That's right. So, <laughs> touching the Mythalar is what this thing is called. Um, it has a name, so that's not good. It has no... It, okay, so the thing has no constitution. That's fine. All right, cool. So, basically, you touch the 10-foot pole to the the sun. As soon as you touch touch it to it, the entire sun, the entire um, stick just gets ripped straight out of your hands and <laughs> disappears. Lucky that wasn't my leg, hey. That was not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go and touch it and see where yeah, it's go, taken? Go, go after it. I, 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 fuck it, I jump in. Oh. Seriously? No. <laughs> With that face, no. <laughs> I feel like you've got to commit to it now. No, I'm not rolling a new character right now, thank you. Um... I think it has its own, you know, how would I describe gravity to a society that doesn't, well, doesn't know what gravity is? It knows what gravity is. There are spells called reverse gravity. You know what gravity is. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't they have I spaceships to... in this society. They know what gravity is. My character doesn't know that. <laughs> um, you flew here in one. We flew here in an airship, not a spaceship. No, Nautiloids are spaceships. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Like I don't particularly want to jump in there because, like, what if I get crushed by gravity? Uh, well, will you be missed? 
Yeah, this thing looks like this thing looks like, a, this. <laughs> this thing looks like a giant ball of fire. I think gravity is not really the least of your issues. Good luck with would, would, would you prefer I throw you in there? You couldn't even lift me if you tried. Let's send R R Robot Danny Jr. Oh. <laughs> mm, no. How about we find a way up into the tower instead? What if we strap the camera to Carl? Send him in. Yeah. Yeah, where is Carl? Carl? Oh, Carl is back at the hotel. Yeah. Uh, should have brought Carl. <laughs> Always bring Carl. I mean, if you wanted to, you could summon your... Uh... You could yeah, summon Octavio, Octavio back yeah. and, and just look through sure, his eyes. help us. <laughs> All right, I'll summon Octavio. Okay, you, you summon Carl's like, Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm back, mistress. <laughs> that really sucked. <laughs> this might also suck. <laughs> yeah, I need you to do something else. Um, of course, what do you need? Can you go touch that big sun-looking thing? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I am serious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you command, mistress. <laughs> and he, he walks, he flying squids over there. It's like, and he puts his telegram in there, ah! and he gets sucked into the the thing. You just see him just just disappear in a in a ball of fire. Gotcha, Captain. Can you summon him back, and he can tell us what it felt like? Doesn't he need to be dead to be summoned back? And that would kind of give us a pretty quick answer. <clears throat> I wonder yes. what that felt like. <laughs> Did you see a light? Back? I'll try. We, we need to ask how that went. <laughs> oh, give me give me a Constitution saving throw for, for Octavio, if you could please. Uh... Whoa, hey, Jesus! Uh, I rolled a twelve. Does he have a? He wouldn't have enough. Okay, cool. So basically, as soon as as soon as as soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as he touches the thing, you just see him basically just turn into ash and disappear. Because <laughs> well. he took um one hundred and eighty points of radiant damage. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm so glad I didn't touch one with my paper. Hang on. Uh, you can't take that, Captain, please. Okay. Oh. Summon him back. Wow. <laughs> uh, I sorry, like, Octavio. I would, I, would, I would like to feed him the potion of radiant resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Hold Octavio down. Grab, grab a tentacle each and shove it down his throat. <laughs> Yeah, there's no need for that. I'll drink it if you want oh. me to. True, my loyal companion. Oh. Chug it. Okay. I'm just questioning my life here. <laughs> so this, I, I this will, this pirate's life for me. So this will protect me? Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're hoping. At, at least half of you. So. <laughs> uh, what now, We Captain? want... Uh, I want you to touch the ball again and oh, see if you can report back to us when you come back. Okay. And he touches it and disappears <laughs> <laughs> again. Oh. It right. took 90 it damage this time. <laughs> <laughs> that potion was worth a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll summon him again, I guess. If... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 think, I think we've established that we probably Death. shouldn't touch it. Yeah. 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 Uh, that, that's all for now, Octavio. Um, Thank you. As you are <laughs> enjoying yourselves, murdering <laughs> a, squid. a squid numerous times, over and over again. Pain is exist. I mean, existence was, was is it pain. This time? <laughs> yes, existence is pain. <laughs> all right. Uh, you guys start hearing coming from um, behind you. Is it the hit of? Uh, I will turn around. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna panic. <laughs> you turn around. I'm thinking signs. Oh, oh, go. It's maybe too big for what it actually is, but <laughs> I'll shrink it to the appropriate size. Oh. Fucking clicker. Tomb tapper. Hey. Clicker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. Sorry. It's a Cl damn boy. Uh, clickers, <laughs> clickers go. Yeah, that looks more Silent Hill than Last so, of Us. You see, dragging a massive hammer behind you, a headless creature. And bizarrely enough, in its chest, you can see what's making the clicking noise. 
a massive mouth in its stomach and its teeth are Maybe we should be going. Um, As it begins to walk towards you. I would like everybody to run. To roll me some initiatives, please. <laughs> Perhaps we should run. Oh. Ooh. Fuck this. I was uh, 11. Okay. 22. I mean, 21, sorry. 21. Brimstone. 21. Sorry. What's the Brimstone, sorry? 11. 11. Uh, Elna. Got 21? Yes. Okay. 16. 16 for Johnny. This place makes me uncomfy. The tapper got a natural 20. I quite enjoy it. For a 20. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was very proud of this map. So she managed to get it to one to one scale. It's fucking huge. Mm. I think that's why it makes me so uncomfy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can see how massive this place fucking yeah. is. I'm gonna have to dash a lot. It's actually quite surprising that Johnny didn't get to go first. Yeah, <laughs> I, I rolled a nine. Ah. Uh, with a plus five initiative. <laughs> but okay, so, uh, so yeah, so well, we'll leave the session there. Unfortunately, on on the cliffhanger, as this massive creature opens up its mouth and. And the initiative Fuck is you. <laughs> the initiative is rolled with your backs to the sun. Where will you all go? Find out in the next session. Yes. How will the, our players deal with this lovely creature? Oh, you missed what this thing looks like. Yes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> She's not cute though. Like, Hi there. <laughs> my name is Toomey. Toomey the Tapper. My <laughs> nipples are my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are down here. My eyes are down here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, thank you to my players. Alira. Hi. Brimstone. Bye. Johnny. See ya. And Elna. Bye. And until next time, everybody, remember to keep on blending. Bye. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for that, haven't you? <laughs>